Yo, my people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Mandem Talk. Listen, people, don't worry. The Mandem are not going to be ghosting. The Mandem are on their way. You know what it's like with black timing, isn't it? You know what I mean? You can never get the Mandem on time. You know what I do, yeah? I don't even tell people it's going to be at this time. I tell them, you'll come an hour early. So if it's at 6 o'clock, <laughs> motive, yeah, I, mean, I tell them, come 5 o'clock. You got to tell the Mandem, yo, it's <laughs> at 5 o'clock. But now, listen, man. Hopefully, Rance is going to be joining us any minute now. Neji, he's not going to go anywhere because Tyrone needs his soldier there. You know, yeah, I mean? just, you know, you know what I find mad, Sage? Yeah, I'm going to back you on this. Yeah, yeah. all of us, are, all of us are guilty in it. Yeah, like one week, me and Rhino might be early. Actually, Rhino is the most consistent on the early thing, to be fair. But like, me, me and Neji mm, might be yeah. early, and the week after it's Leon. Like none of us are consistent with it. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. We need to step up still. Yeah, facts, facts, man. But now, listen, big up to everyone here, man. It's a lot to talk about, you know. I can't lie to mm. you. But as Tyrone was telling me, yeah, before the mandem talk, there's always something dropping. There's mm. always something dropping. Is it my audio, that? Is that my audio? I think it might just be muted uh, on the phone. On that's maybe we'll, that's why. We'll, uh, maybe, maybe. Let me, let me just, um, let me just mute, mute him in and out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But listen, like I said, you've got a lot to talk about. We've got Luke Shaw out for three months. We've got, um, What's it called? Rackless interview. We've got to talk about... We, bro, we've got loads to talk about. Like I said, the, the situation with FFP, apparently we've got to sell to buy. So we've got a lot to discuss, man. But mm. with me today, we've got Rhino in the building. Rhino, man of the match yes. performance last week. Yo, <laughs> guys, Rhino is the star of the show. You know mm. what I was there? Man like Rhino. Oh, what do you say, man. Rhino? I'm good, man. I'm chilling, man. Listen, you said you give people one hour notice, bro. I have to give people that like, two hour notice, bro. One hour is like, <laughs> give me two hours. But yeah, big up the chat as always. Big up the man, them rants, Tyrone, Musa, Leon. Who else is missing? Um, Neji as well. Hey, Neji, pull up. We're waiting. Pull up. We are waiting for you. I'm hiding. You Leaving the man them in the field by themselves. That's crazy, man. Crazy man, it's crazy, it's crazy. But I do the Casemiro job in midfield, but it's madness. <laughs> but, um, oh, it's madness, yo, it's madness. Uh, Tyro, what are you telling me, bro? Yeah, man, I'm blessed, man. Every week, obviously, you know what the settings are, man. Big up Rants, big up Side Rhino, and then the rest of the gang are joining. Make sure you like in the video, people. Um, I'm glad that everyone's loving this show every week, whoever you agree with, whoever you agree with, and that like you're loving the All show. Right. So that's the main thing, man. Like up the stream, and then big up everyone, man. 
Yeah, man. Facts, facts, man. And we got man like Ransom Vance. You get me? The OG in the scene. He got yeah, bro, it's good. It's good. He said, yo, I'm ready, he said. <laughs> there you go. I'm ready, my guy, you know. I'm ready. Come on, man. Now, big up, man. And then Musa, I think we might have it. We might not have it. Musa, what are you saying, man? Yeah, so I'm in the building. I thought, let me get onto the headphones, but I still, they're still playing games with me. Come on, come on. Now, big up Musa, man. Big up every single time, man. And listen, we're going to delve into it first. Is a, is a topic about Luke Shaw. Let's just let's just cut this brother, man, because I'm tired of this guy, you know. I'll be real with you. He's out for three months now with a bad hamstring injury. Uh, so it is the same injury apparently he's had then. So I thought it was a different injury, but same injury, hamstring. Man, then what we say, man, is this it now, man? Because at the end of the day, yeah, I'm tired of excuses, innit? Because I feel like the mm. agenda is, is different for other people. But as soon as I said now, sell him. Everyone's crying about, oh, but he's a good player. Shobel, Carlos, this and that, bro. I'm done with him, bro. You get me? Tyrone, I'll let you start for this one, man. What are you saying about this one? Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm glad you let me start because after the, uh, during the Luton game, I put a tweet out as well and I said, look, time to get a new left back. You know, simple as that. Um, nine years he's been here. Two, two and a half, three good seasons. A lot of injuries, more injuries than he has appearances. Now, look, let me, let me not get twisted. I'm not going to come here and say Luke Shaw's crap because we all know he's not crap. The big thing is for me, yeah, is that when he's available and when he's playing well, he's good. But that's not enough because we're not seeing it enough. Mm. You know, we have 10 games. He's probably playing three of them. And, and it's simple as that. You can be as good as you want to be. But if you're not on the pitch, you're not helping nobody. And at the end of the day, right, we had Regulon. We let him go back to Tottenham. We had Alvaro Fernandez sitting there waiting to play. We decided to play Lindelof left back and let mm. my man go on loan to Benfica. And now he's not here to be seen. This is Alvaro time for me. We kept Luke Shaw. And all of a sudden... He's out again. Had a niggle last week. Said he might be back. Comes back. Doesn't even last 45 because Ogbeni's giving him the sprints. Shuttle runs. Bro, didn't he, he go it. off the week before? Um, didn't he yeah. get subbed off two games in a row? Yeah, yeah. yeah two games in a row. He, he didn't want to do the shuttle runs with Ogbeni last week. And um, he, I thought he'd throw in a towel because I know Luke Shaw's mentality. I do question at times. But mm -hmm. look, I'm done with it. Time to get a new left back. Whether it's Ten Hag, whether it's a new manager, you cannot build a foundation. You cannot build a rhythm with having a left back that's playing three times in every 10 games. Look at the perfect example, Said Chelsea Football Club. They got a Malo Gusto, who I wanted two years ago at Man United. Now, Reese right. Jess is the golden prodigy, the club captain of Chelsea, and he's not there to be seen this season. But what did they do? They invested in a 21 Leon right back who's been available near enough every game of bar a couple of weeks. And now that guy's nailed down the right back spot to the point that when Reese James come back, the Chelsea fans are already saying, Gusto's got to stay in. We'll, we'll put him left back. Because the guy's been doing damage this season. Defensively solid, attackingly solid. And that's what Man United need to do now. We need to go out and get another left back. Unfortunately, Malassi has not been here all season. I also don't think he's good enough to be a starter. And Luke Shaw, we cannot rely on him to be a starter. Now, look, we've got two decisions to make. We keep Luke Shaw and we say, yo, we've seen you at left centre-back and you can be backup cover to Lissandro Martinez or Jad Brantwaite if he comes in or whatever, right? Or we're going to get another left back and Luke Shaw. You're going to rotate with my man at left back. The days of Luke Shaw being a guaranteed starter are finished. It's done. Today, no one can convince me otherwise. No one can sell me an apprentice pitch. I'm not the Alan Sugar. I'm not taking it today. It's done. <laughs> the ability, the availability is not there. We need a new left back. Simple as that. Mm. Now, for real, man. Listen, I can only echo what you said, bro. Like, I think there's too much sentiment towards Luke Shaw, man. I get me. Like, listen, every other player's been injured, but I feel like it's always a case of when Luke Shaw's at his best, bro. Like, when Luke Shaw's at his best, bro. But the best ability you've got is availability. Let's be real mm -hmm. about him. Like, the best ability you've got as a footballer, as a professional footballer, is to be available. And he can't even guarantee you that. And listen, man, I'm tired, bro. Get me a new left back. Go and get and me Saeed, a new what you got to do now, Saeed? You're going to Old Trafford. You've got to watch Lindelof for three months. <laughs> bro, Ski, it's, that's the reality now. Yeah. It's real. And wan is injured. wan is now injured for a while. I don't know what listen, regular. I don't know why he told him to go away here yeah, when he realized yo the record that he's got is actually bad. Like man said to you, go, go to Brentford, go away. Alvaro Fernandez, man's on long, killing it on Benfica. Mm. Bro, I don't know what this guy's doing, bro. And this is down to him, really, his decision making. But bro, I'm I'm tired, bro. But Rance, what are you telling me, man? Bro, it's it's another situation, man. Malassi is not coming back as well because he's still out injured. I don't know what he's going on. Something no, suspect about that one. I can't lie. It's to all you, right, bro. bro. Like, I'll be honest, bro. By the start of the next season, most of these guys the manager brought in will be gone, and so will he. So 
you know what I mean? Man, mm. just I'm just relaxing, bro. I'm just enjoying the view, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is just what we're doing, man. Do you know what I mean? We just need to get rid of these guys, get rid of Anthony on loan, because that'll probably happen. Um, do you know what I mean? We won't keep Amrabat. Merlassia's days are numbered at the football club because he can't stay fit. Do you know what I mean? We're just gonna this is the Man United reset. This is what it is. That fraud Luke Shaw, who knows what will happen with him. But no, bro, it's the Man United reset right now. So it's just one of them things where I'm I'm enjoying it, man. Do you know what I mean everyone's starting to realize Bruno's scrubby? Like everything's going the way I wanted slowly. Do you know what I mean? It's taking this time, but slowly we're getting the Man United that I want. So I'm getting my football club back. So I'm happy, bro. I can't even lie, bro. Mm. This Luke Shaw thing is crazy. Like, this guy has got better protection than Patrick Mahomes, bro. I'm telling you. Because when, I, when I'm seeing, yeah, the, the injury record of Luke Shaw is crazy. I can't believe it. Like, mm. the, the protection of this guy. Like, the numbers speak for themselves. And the, the amount of sympathy that Luke Shaw gets here. And the thing is, it's not even like he's mad likable, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? He's not even like he's mad likable. This is a guy that's constantly overweight. This is a guy that, even when he is available, doesn't perform at a level that justifies the praise that he gets. And then he's never available as well, bro. It's not even like he's proper hardworking and he's a really nice guy and it's like, you know what, he's just so unlucky. The guy's just getting booked every game because he's, he's knackered after 20 minutes. Like It's like, why, why are we protecting him? Why? Why? Do you know what I mean? Like, better players have been thrown under the bus at this football club, you know? Way better players have been thrown under the bus at this football club. And this guy keeps cheating death. I don't understand it. So, if it takes for him to be out injured for us to finally replace him, I don't care. I don't care what the reason is. Mm. I don't care what the reason is, but we need to replace him. And we've been needing to replace him. So, if it means that we're needing. we don't sell him, but it's through injury, who cares? <laughs> I don't care. Mm. Because mm. once we bring in a better left back, he's not getting back in the team. Because he doesn't offer him. Do you know what I mean? The problem with a lot of these players is who we who's better? Oh, Rance, who are you going to replace him with? Once we got the replacement, you don't need to ask me that. Mm. That's it. Replace him, sure. Even if he's still at the club, replace him. That's what we mm. do. And then we don't need to worry about it. Simple. Mm. You know what's mad, yeah? Just before I let the other man come in, this is the injury record. He's got Ooh. him since... I... Yo! No, listen, this is... Bro, this I is thought that was an Excel bro. spreadsheet. Got... I thought that was Man United's <laughs> accounts, man. Man said, hey, what's that? <laughs> That's the thing. No, he's, got he's got two, 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 two levels. <laughs> he's got two, man. He's got two lists. Bro, he's got not one list. He's got two lists, man. Oh, them. That's two mad. lists, you know. All right, two lists, you know. Man, yeah, that's man mad. I've never lists. seen that before, still. Bro, Yo, see, I told you. crazy, man. He can't... Marshall can't chat to well, when it comes to injury, I mean, go to the bottom side. What does it say? I see concussion. <laughs> That's crazy. Concussion, yo, man. <laughs> concussion, <laughs> man. Oh, Aye, it's, it's finished. crazy. It's finished. Nah, it's, it's finished. 288 <laughs> days. He's nearly been at Bavi. Bro, this is crazy. A whole year. That's mad. A whole, a whole year. A whole, is yeah, injury. literally. Nearly a whole year, bro. Literally. And it's literally that's nobody's been that's like, not, oh, that's cool, not including That's not including the leg break. Because the leg break, he was out longer than that. Mm. Yeah, he was out longer than that. Yeah, he was out for a whole year. Exactly. So they haven't even included that in there. So, boy, that's mad, you know. But yeah, go on, Musa. What are you going to say? No, not a match, man. I'm like, what you man are saying? He's, he, he's brown bread, bro. He's, he's finished. Mm. Finished, man. And you know what's I'm bad as well, yeah? He's brown Varane, bread. Varane... Varane's in the in the club and he's given that kind of tag of injury prone. Listen, Martial's been injury prone, mm. don't get me wrong, yeah, but it's you know what it is here yeah, for me? It's the fans used to just call it as you see it, bro, and say, yo, listen, if man's washed, then sell him. If this player's washed, then sell him. Keep it a book. Everyone, you know what I mean? Keep the same energy and we move from there. If you want to go down the, down the same route next season and we all keep it a book and we have this high performance and on the gym racket, then we keep it serious, man. Keep it like that. Everyone leaves and we go from there. Simple as that, man. Because like I said to you, I'm sick of this idea of if Luke Shaw on his best day, he's our best left back. I don't care. How many times have I got to tell you? You know what's you, you know what, you know what, top boy? How many times do I have to tell you? I don't care. Mm. You feel mm. me? It's it now. No facts. So all these Shaw... The mad, you know what the maddest thing, thing for me, Saeed, yeah? The, the maddest thing for me is... um. I didn't even, obviously, what I did realise, but obviously he signed a new contract last year because obviously he had a good season. When you think about it, Ten Hag come in and in his first season, 
Obviously, Luke Shaw's buttering it up like he does. And then he got handed the keys. And now he's got a contract until 2027. So we're not even talking like two years. Bro, he's got another three years left on his deal. And I don't even know. I think that goes under the radar more than his injuries. The fact that he's injured and everyone's like, yeah, sell him, sell him. But when you actually deep it, he's got another three years left on his contract. Now, we saw what Maguire did last year, right? Maguire decided to chill. He's in the power. Luke Shaw can say, yo, like, nah, I'm going to park up my contract or you've got to pay me out. So it could be another one of them situations, which is why I'm like, you know what? With the ability he has, Nusa, we're going to have to just make him a squad player because uh, I'm going to, I'll keep it real. Can I yeah, imagine he's calm though. He's, he's calm to be a squad player. He ain't going to be sold. Yeah, yeah, 2027, man. Then. No, 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 no. Bro, We're not none of this squad player. Yeah. No, none of this, none <laughs> Left of this centre back. back. You can't run, bro. His legs are gone. And say the same thing about Reese James, bro. <laughs> if Reese James wants to prolong his career, he needs to allow this up and down the wing thing, bro. You're not built for that. You know, like that. Your body's your body can't yeah. take that. You just play centre back, sit there. Just play football. Left like, centre back. Because Martin is... See what you're saying? Because Martinez is on a is on a hype as well. Martinez is on this injury thing as well. So we need backup for that left centre back. Mm. We need backup. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Musa, I'm gonna I'm I'm just gonna go back to you and say, yeah, backup with someone that's fit. fit <laughs> just yeah, a different yeah, yeah, yeah. You get yeah. me? Even I'm not gonna right. lie to you, I'm worried about Martinez as well. You know, I can't lie to you, man. Mm. Even Martinez's yeah. injuries are getting a bit worrying as well. So really? even you can't even rely on him too much, but nope. for me, this this is I'm saying that that contract killed us, man. That contract yeah. there, 2027. We need That's why for me, you got to sell him in the summer. Yeah, yeah. but that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Rafael Varane, yeah, when Martinez can't stay fit. Mm. Like, man, <laughs> yeah. are looking at the wrong things, man. bro. I know, but you know what, Rance? Yeah. The maddest thing, yeah, Varane, Varane's been fitter than Martinez and Shaw. All season, yeah. but that's but he's bro, but mm. that is not the agenda, and this is what I'm saying. A lot mm. of these men that are saying things, it's not factual, bro. Them man yeah. are just mm. basing it off like just mm. biases that have come out yeah. of thin air, bro. Do you know what I mean? Because they're not looking mm. at stats to, to have these agendas, bro. Like the bread's been available more than that. Doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah, yeah, big up Lee Reacts for the raid, bro. Shout oi, big, big up Lee Reacts. Yeah, Moses, Moses. Yeah, what are you saying, Chuck, bro? You're good. You quiet, man. You're quiet. My thing's playing up. I was saying, I'm just Jose listening, bro. I'm just, sure. mm. I'm just listening. I'm just listening. I'm listening. Because <laughs> it's funny, <laughs> man. It's, it's, it's funny to hear all these things, bro. Because, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm sitting there, yeah, and I'm cussing out players, yeah, and I'm not just singling one man out, and I'm sing- I'm just basically saying that, man, I'm talking about but, uh, uh, availability is your best ability. I've been saying this, yeah? I've been saying this. So when I was cussing out for Ran and I was cussing out whoever else, yeah? Luke Shaw, the likes of these men that are always injured, yeah? As a as a collective, yeah? Mm. You can't go forward with these men. It's as simple as that. So when I'm turning around and I'm saying these things, like, people are jumping mm. to the first, oh, Ran's our best defender. Bro, I do not give a damn, yeah? My thing is this. When I, when I look at my club and I look at what's going on, if you're injured, I don't care if you are Roberto Carlos, bro. Yeah? If you are injured all the time, you cannot play in my team, bro, because I cannot rely on you. It's as simple as that. So it's as simple as that. So whether it's Luke Shaw, whether it's Ferran, whether it's... Like, at the end of the day, my thing is this, that even if, like, like Rand said, if the, even if these, pe- these people are still here hovering about the clubs, that, as long as you've got some good replacements for them, who gives a shit? No one gives a shit, bro, because like, they're not going to play. And at the end of the day, if, you, if you're consistent and you play all the time, and you play to a certain level, and you're never injured, you'll always prevail. So all, all I'm looking at, I'm looking at my new board, my the Ineos man, to come in and say, obviously, Brosford, the performance guy, say, this is not this is not sustainable, so we need replacements. Obviously, we might not be able to sell them, but either way, we still need replacements. Mm. Facts. 100%, 100%, man, 100%. You get me? Big up Leon, I think, is here as well. Big up Leon. Bro, this is the way, oh, no, listen, this is we... the way big football yeah. clubs behave. Because at the end of the day, yeah, one thing is for sure, if you bring in the right players, the players that we, we don't want, they'll see themselves out. That's how football works. Do you know what I'm saying? As much as we like to talk about these footballers, none of them like to just be at clubs and not playing. Like, none of them do. Do you know what I mean? Like, none of them. Like, unless you're someone like Phil Jones that knows you're stealing a living because you're not fit anyway. Like, footballers want to play football as much as football fans might say, oh, he's happy to sit there on his wages. They're not. Even Maguire. Maguire is getting a lot more game time now. So he's happy for now. Do you know what I'm saying? So he won't complain. But before, he wasn't happy that he wasn't playing. So we bring in the players that need to play and we make it obvious to players 
that they're not playing. Look at Eric Dyer, bro. He left Spurs. Not because he wanted to leave, but because the manager said, listen, unless we got every man's dead, you're not playing. That's what he said. About you. He helped him. He, about he found his way out. And that's what we got to do to some of these men, bro. Let them know that, yo, you're not in the plans. If you want to stay, that's cool. Do you know what I'm saying? Youth teams over there, you can go kickball over there, bro. You know what I'm saying? And mm. this is what this is what we need to do. Since we've got the performance guy in now, we need to bring in the right ballers and let man know that this is the level. If you're not reaching the level, that pitch, that's where you're training. You can park in that car park. You know them ones. That's <laughs> how we need to be. We need to be ruthless now. This is what we need to do. Forget the sentiment. I don't care how many broken legs Luke Shaw's had. I don't care, like, why Martial's injured. I don't care. I don't care why, bro. Like, if you're not available, then man have to get someone else. Do you know what I mean? It's not about favourites. It's not about what you've done. It's not about credit in the bank. None of these men have credit in the bank, bro. We ain't won the Premier League in 10 years. They can all fuck off. I'll be real. Where's the credit? Mm. It's the clean like, slate vibes. Like yeah. Man, yeah. Like yeah. Slate, man. You are not For real. Available. You are useless, bro. If you're not available, you're useless. Yeah? Bro, you that... are useless. This is fact of that. So you can sit there and say, oh, you can, you, you can someone's ability or whatever they do or however they do on their day. But effectively, if you are not available, you mm. are... You better, you're better putting me... If you're not available... I've got, mm. I, I'm, 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 I'm just as good as you right now, sitting here. That's yeah. Because there's, no, there's, there's no use for you. But like I said, mm. all, there's all sorts of politics in the club, and there's all kinds of like contractual uh, 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 stipulations that go with it. So at the end of the day, as long as the replacements are coming in, and like, listen, what you have to remember is what these men said, and this, and obviously that Barada said, listen, two years to perform, otherwise you're out the door, mate. So, so Luke Shaw's had ten years, so they've yeah. got a ten year sample size to look at it and say, well, can we continue mm. with this guy? I think no. I don't think so. Mm. Nah, facts. 100%, man. 100%. Listen, you, man, I don't know if you, man, are hearing um, Jim Ratcliffe, man. He's been speaking and that. You know what I'm saying, too? He's been speaking bare about certain players and whatnot. And a certain name cropped up. I think it was, I think Mason Greenwood cropped up. And this is what he said about Mason Greenwood. He basically said, the Mason Greenwood situation I'm familiar with and the club is dealing with that. All young players, all young people get into from time to time, trouble from time to time. We need to look at the facts, judge fairly, and take into consideration what the values of the club are. This is in situation of obviously we got we got we got a lot of issues with FFP here. Yeah? And I was talking about um a feeling that United have to sell before they buy. So I was looking at some of the talents we've got here. You've got Mason Greenwood, Sancho, and Rashford. So them three there, yeah. If I was to tell you who would you want it to sell first? Who would it be? Who would Jaden be Sancho. First? Jaden Sancho. Yeah, Jaden Sancho. Okay. Yeah. So and, I know, and, and by the way, by the way, I'm going to keep it real. I know, I know, my comment there is going to rub up people because they're going to be like, "What Greenwood?" Blah blah. Like, I understand what the situation is with that, and and I'm talking. I, I want to make this clear. I'm talking football. Sancho for me, gone to Dortmund, ain't really doing that great anyway. Um, I rate him as a footballer. I think he's a technically gifted footballer. But for me, at Man United and the way the Premier League is, I don't think we are going to suit him or get the best out of him. So at the end of the day, I'm not looking at it from just a Man United point of view. I'm being clear that I'm looking at it for Sancho's point of view in his career and Man United moving forward. If we can recoup about 40 million and we move on and get another winger, I'm not going to be sat here on this panel in a year's time saying, oh my God, I miss Jaden Sancho. And that's the truth. Now, look, I'm not going to scream that I miss Marcus Rashford either, but I tell you one thing I might miss is his goals and just the ability to do something off the cuff. It doesn't mean I want him a guaranteed starter, but he could offer enough in this squad off the bench or whatever that Sancho can't really offer. So for me, I'm happy to see Sancho go off, restart his career, Man United get some money and we keep it moving and grooving. It's simple as that. So Sancho would be the one out of them three I am selling. No qualms, no problems, and I expect him to go in the summer as well. Mm. Yeah, listen, but you know what it is. I don't, know, I don't know if anyone has any other different answers, but yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm Sancho, and it doesn't mean I don't rate Sancho. But look, no, no, we I keep, we keep it. Yeah, man. Obviously, you know the situation, yeah. the situation. But we're talking about footballing wise as well, man. The footballing ability wise. How you want me to tell you the truth? You want me to tell you the truth, bro? It depends on. It depends on what. Bro, it depends yeah, on. Now, Rance, I mean. Rance, Rance, Let me just say this. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna keep it a buck. If you're talking right. footballing wise, I'm keeping Mason out of the three. Yeah, but he said sell one. He didn't say sell two and keep one. But anyway, no, no, no. But he just said yeah, footballing yeah. wise. Obviously, it, it yeah. Depends. It depends on what manager we get, yeah, and what football mm, we're trying talk. to play in it. It depends on what football we're trying to play because there's none of this, yeah. Like, 
there's none of this uh Sancho can't play in certain in the Prem and that bro it depends on what system he's in it depends on what players he's got around him yeah. Do you know what I mean? So there's none of this. With Marcus Rashford, we've seen here yeah, that Rashford's played in loads of different systems at Man United, hasn't really pulled up trees in any of them. If you actually look at how many seasons Rashford's played, how many minutes, how many games, and you look at his output, it's not that impressive. It's very overinflated. I think he averages less than 10 goals a season. So it's not unbelievable, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? So... It very much depends, isn't it? Like, and this whole Dortmund thing, yeah. I watched the game yesterday. Sancho had a terrible game yesterday. He was mad. Mm. He was off. He was off the pace yesterday. But I don't blame him because I watched all of the games before, and I said from the very first game, this guy's off the pace. Even though he was getting stats, you can see he looks like a player that mm. hasn't played football for four or five months. He looks like it, and that's why he picked up a five strain as well. Because you don't go from not playing any football to Dortmund starting you and you playing 70 minutes, three games in a row. Like, you're going to pick up injuries. So, he looks off the pace. He needs to get sharp. That's it. The quality that the player has, a lot of people have forgotten it because football now is very much what have you done for me lately thing. Like, people are very good at writing G-A-Ball. off... It's all about G-A-Ball. He, People are very good at writing off players' abilities. They've done the same thing to Pogba. When he came to Man United, they forgot that this guy's mm. a free Skedettos, Champions League final, all of these mm. other things, bro. They forgot about all that. Do you know what I mean? They thought that his career started at Man United. This is what these football fans do. So, when you're seeing um, Sancho playing in the Champions League for Dortmund, not Megan Neymar and Rainbow flicking Di Maria and shit like that, people don't remember that player now. They just remember the guy that's mm. not having a great time at the moment. However, I know there's a footballer in there and I also know with the right people, especially if Jason Wilcox comes to the club, is someone he's familiar with. Dan Ash was familiar with him from the England setup. England it, setup could, yeah, yeah. it could be the thing where he's got people around him and he's like, right, like I feel comfortable, I feel appreciated. We might see the player that we know is in there. Rashford, however, I've seen this guy under multiple managers, I've seen him in multiple systems, and he just doesn't have the ability of the other two. So if I had but to say, but he still has still done a lot more than what them were well, not. Yeah, yeah, but, no, he's but he's had than... a, no, no, but he's had a lot more time, so that's not really fair, bro. Rashford's been at this club for what is this his sixth, sixth or seventh season? So yeah. saying that he's saying that he's done yeah. more. That no, does, but that, that's he has delivered no, 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 hold on, numbers, you know what you no, get but hold on, Ty. That's no, but he hasn't because of one season I think he got like four goals. The season before last season, Rashford had an absolute 20, stink 20, well, yeah, 21, 22, yeah. We should have sold yeah. him off the back of that. But then he got he had the purple patch last season, didn't score for three months. We gave him a new deal. So let's yeah, but my, 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 my question to you is you know Rashford Rashford is consistent. Rashford. let's not say Rashford and consistent. No, no, but hear me. I, I'm that, gonna challenge you on this, right? I'm gonna challenge you on this because with sure. Rashford, you know what you're getting, and, and Man United yeah, are not in that position. No, no, wait, Man United are not in that position. Getting. No, but hear me. Man United are not in a position right now to say, right, let's get rid of Rashford, keep Sancho. When Sancho's already been here two years, not delivered enough of what we expected. Mm. Doesn't mean he's a crap player, like I'm saying. Another club, it could work. But we can't rely on Sancho coming in, getting rid of Rashford, who has delivered numbers, has stepped up in games when we've needed at times against big clubs, even if it's just running in behind or whatever, Mm. to get rid of Rashford to keep Sancho. For me, Rashford's done enough that he could be part of this squad because, yes, we know what he offers. And, yes, it's technically not great, but at least he gives us that direct running behind the pace outlet. He can get goals. Yeah. For me, you yeah, have to keep... What I said, squad, remember what I initially said, yeah? I said, fuck credit in the bank. No one's got credit in the bank, bro. Like, Rashford's been here for eight years, yeah? And you're saying that he's... Con- yeah, he's contributed because he's been here. So, what, bro, are you yeah. willing to get rid of Rashford to keep Sancho? I bro, would. I would. I'm, bro, bro, I'm willing to I'm get rid of anyone. I'm just asking you a question, bro. It's a yes or no question. I'm willing to get rid right. of any player That's in precedent. this squad. It's, no, a, no, it's a yes not. or no it's question, not. really. If I, I already said it. If they said, who would you get rid of? I've already said I'd get rid of Rashford. But, bro, I said that I'm happy to lose anyone in this squad if it's for the better, better players in the long term. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't believe in credit yeah. in the bank. But what you're doing is you're saying Rashford's done more. That don't make no sense. Imagine yeah, he has at Manchester United. No, 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 but hold on. Like, Ty, imagine you've been with your gal, yeah, for eight years. Mm-hmm. And then I'm her new man, yeah. But obviously I've done more in eight years. Well, shut up then. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Because Ancho's still... Ancho's been here two years, bro. I haven't just... Been... Ancho's been here two years. No, that was a bad man at Austin. I'm not going to lie. Ancho's been here two years. We've seen him. We know it. Before you listen, quick. 
<laughs> at the end of the day, do you know what? I don't think enough man would just want to say the truth. Out of the three, we would keep great, we would keep Greenwood on football and ability, and we'd probably sell Sancho. I think that's all it is. But we don't know what's gonna happen with Mason. The only thing but I could take from that know. quote, the only thing I could take from that quote, and th and this is me keeping it a buck, is that man saying that he's gonna look at it and face the facts and look at the facts. Now the facts are, yeah, he was not deemed guilty. And that's the facts. That's what I think Jim Ratcliffe's plotting. He's trying to say, you know, I'm not listening to what outside noise is saying. Yeah. I'm looking at the facts. Mm -hmm. And the fact is, he's not guilty. So that's inclining to me. He's going to sit down with him and actually, you know, have a conversation about potentially him staying at the There's club. That's how I'm reading it. Him, 100%. 100%. I, I, I think, I think Ratcliffe's does, looking at it like that. He doesn't plant that seed unless there's a strategy in place. Yeah, to, to look at keeping him at the yeah. club. Yeah. Yo, I feel like, you, man. What's going on? Talk to me. Where, yeah, what is basically to, saying... Yeah, so basically we're, we're talking about the FFP restrictions that we have here and basically saying that we may have to sell to buy. And obviously I thought a scenario of PSG, they kind of maybe want uh, uh, Rashford to take over that Mbappe role. You look at that Greenwood situation and then the Sanchez situation. And we were saying, who do you reckon out of the three would you sell to get a bit of money? You know what I'm oh, saying? Man, so, I'm selling all three of them, boys. I'm not even trying to... Yeah, I'm selling all three of them. Yeah, but that, that's easy. That's easy, couple. But what I'm talking about, if you had to... The three that you got oh, right if now... If you had to, like... Uh, uh, pick one. Yeah. Yeah. I think you get I think you get more money for Rashford. Um, just for PR and everything else. And people are interested. So I'd sell Rashford just knowing that I could put that money elsewhere. And the simple fact that, I'll be honest, Rashford, you don't know what you're getting with Rashford. Like, it's purple patches every season. Like, one season... He's balling, he's bagging goals next season. You don't see him. I'll be honest, bro. If he doesn't score goals, what else does he do? That's what I ask myself. And I don't mm. think he maintains Fox. that. I don't think he keeps the final third. Taking for us. I don't think he does anything else outside the goals. Um, he looks great when he's on form. I think he, he shows his world-class abilities. But for me, that is it's too far and few for me. So I'm getting rid of Rashford personally. And then who's the other two? Sancho and Greenwood. Mm. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think one of them anyway. So. I, keep, I keep Sancho because I rate the profile of Sancho. I think he's great. However... Um, I don't rate his, I'm a mentality guy I don't rate his mentality personally however on performance I think you can kind of get away with having a Sancho in your team if you've got other areas in the team that are kind of suited and that will pick up the shift for my man so for me personally I already told you man for a long time Greenwood can go find he can stay at Gattafi for all I care I don't care so yeah I'm keeping Sancho can I just add something as well mm -hmm. It depends what your preference yeah, is, yeah. Because, like, for example, yeah, obviously, Ty, respect your opinion. You was on about the Rashford thing, and like, he offers goals and rare, rare. But what else does he offer for the team? We've had so long where we've been having individual players that we want to buy some star that bails us out all the time. Yeah, I'm sick of it. I want players that do the sensible stuff in it. So for me, Sancho, in some aspects, mm. offers more to the team as a whole. You're not telling me right now if he wasn't playing in the winger or the ten that he would be assisting and bringing the play and holding the ball up and actually we wouldn't have to play basketball, counter-attacking football. Do you know what I mean? So I'm looking at that aspect yeah, of I need a bit more quality in the side, not just, yeah, man, kick and run and you get a goal every now and then, but half the time you're walking around looking mardy like your mum's kicked you out. Can't be honest. No, I hear that. I hear that. I hear what you're saying. And and that's what I'm saying. I think Sancho could deliver that and, and thrive elsewhere. I just don't think that with Man United, we have enough goal scorers even in the team, to be fair. And if we're looking at someone like a Michael Elise or whatever coming in, who's got that creative spark anyway and that now and that ability, that can replace what Sancho is kind of going to come in to give us with that balance of the midfield. Yeah, but, you don't, you're about time, you yeah, but why not have them both? Why not have them both? You don't know, you don't know I, I think we need one player that's got a pace outlet, I personally think. You don't know what he's going to deliver here, though. There's you something, that you, man, there's something mm. that you, man, said, yeah. Um, one of you lot said that made me think, yeah. Um, and it's correct. Obviously, if Rashford's not scoring, he doesn't offer anything. But mm. if Garnacho's not scoring, he don't offer anything. And if Hoyland's not scoring, he don't offer anything. And they're all not scoring. Because when you look at man, Hoyland got six goals. Garnacho got five. Rashford got five, blood. Do you know what no, I mean? Hoyland, Hoyland, Hoyland offers stuff off the ball. He's, he's serious off the ball. He, he, yeah, he does. He does. He's not serious. He offers a little bit. He's not oh, serious. Like. They, nah, you, no, he is. Tell him, tell him, man. Tell him, Nate. Oh, here we this. go. Here we go. Let's not do this. Gotta be careful with the word. <laughs> serious means like he's like Zlatan holding up. Nah, mate, it's not serious. No, no, it does not. No, that's okay, not the thing. Yeah, he's doing, that's doing, 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 doing his thing. Tell him again, he's not doing his thing, but serious is a different thing. No, no. Why, why are you emphasizing serious like that? I never said it with that little squang. That's a joke. That was your choice of words, you know? Yeah, I said the word. You said you got a vocabulary and you chose that. There's a difference, Trent. There's a difference. Someone says you're a dead baller, yeah? If someone says you're a dead baller, cool. But if someone goes, you're a dead baller, you're emphasizing the word. No, no, dead is dead. He's just done that with Nana. He's just done that with Nana. He didn't say serious. He didn't say 
I good said off the ball. He said serious. Off the ball, he's serious. He's dangerous. Off the ball, he's serious. The channels that he makes, the mm. space that he makes. And if you, you man talking about systems and football, yeah, you want your striker to be making those type of moves off the ball. That's fact. If you want tick attack, you want that movement off the ball, Hoyland brings you that. So, it is what it is. Hey, bro, that, right, that's so an I'm opinion. And that's an opinion yeah. I hold. said, yeah, hold on. I said if man's not scoring, you're talking about movement off the ball. Yeah, because you say don't listen. offer anything else off the ball. Bro, bro, listen, bro, I said apart from scoring, you're talking about movement. Movement is all well and good, but if you don't get the ball... It doesn't mean you don't have to get the ball. I'm, talking about, I'm talking about the stuff that you do on the ball, yeah, when you're not scoring goals. You talk about movement, bro. Yeah, but if I'm, you're I'm not talking, receiving I'm, the ball and you're just making yeah, runs, yeah, based on Rash, that's said, not benefiting the team, Rash, really. Bro? Bro? I'm talking about like, holding the ball. Over than goals, over than goals, yeah. Right, Rashford sure. don't offer nothing. So even even off the ball, yes. he's tracking back shit, yeah. Even yeah. even his work rate off the ball, yes, he makes runs in, uh, runs in behind the ball, yeah, cool, safe. When he's on the ball, all he does is just take the ball yeah, and Rashford be selfish. Makes runs too, though. And he's yeah, offside. Okay, okay, so if Holland isn't scoring, worse, right, you said on the ball, yeah. Let me let me give you the, I'll give you one example. If Holland isn't scoring, at least you know when that ball's being pinged into him, he's holding off the ball and linking up play. Hundred That's times why holding off, always brown after every game. Is that game. not something else other than scoring? Bro, he spends more time on the floor about holding up what, bro? This best really? eating grass. Bro, we'll agree to disagree, but we'll agree to disagree. But the evidence bro? is there, man. I'll be honest, the bro, he's got the dirtiest kit every game. Yeah, no, no, no. I think he works hard. Doing stuff. Nah, nah, nah. You know what it is. He offers more than just scoring goals. That's a fact. I feel no. like it comes down to profile, innit? Maybe we miss... I think Eric Tanag is misprofiling what he is as well, by the way. Because when he was in Atalanta, he was playing off the, the kind of wing position. So he was yes, kind of running in behind from the wings, 100%. you know, in that area. But I, I still... I think for me, we spoke about it on Rance's channel. Make sure you check it out. I think it is a bit harsh the way we kind of maybe look at Hoyland because I don't think he's a finished article just yet. But it also comes down to expectations. He's not a Martial. I think Martial's got a better overall game than him. But Martial still has... Developed into that because he was an inside forward as well, or even a winger to be honest with you at Monaco, and then he developed into a, a guy who could hold up the ball, play well, play into other people. I feel and like we've always, now, seen, him, always seen himself as a nine, though, to be fair. And you can see, by yeah, the way, to be fair, yeah, to be fair, and he pins but, players, you know, He's what it is, always yeah. had that ability to pin players, always. You know what it is with me, though? Uh, listen, I think you know I, I agree yeah, with AG, man. I agree with AG, listen. If you look at if you analyze what Hoyland's been doing the last few games, especially Luton. Even when you watch, like, I think when I watched match today, this morning, I watched it on replay. They were showing a lot of what he does, like, on top of scoring. Even that back heel he gave to Bruno, I think he did it in the oh. Arsenal. He, he does little things that are key to our build up. So I, I can see what um, Neji's talking about. But, Rats, I want to ask you something because someone said this to me, yeah. I think Syed, you was there as well. They said, uh, and I, I said this can't be true. Apparently, you rate Jackson. Is that true or not? I just want to know if that's true or not. I said he's got quality. But he's not a centre forward. He's a wide player. He's been played out of position. I believe that we can get better at Erasmus playing him out wide also. Okay, okay. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Definitely, because I was right thinking if because yeah. I just think obviously, because some people are saying to me, Ra Hoyland needs to hold bench and whatever. Then I'm hearing another side of it where they're saying that because he's so confident, why can't he be the main guy in it? But my concern is just the it's fact not about that confidence, bro. It's over, not about over time, confidence. it's going to wear him out. You feel me? He needs to be managed well. Yeah. Still, but I think he it's brings a lot to the team, though. It's about competence. Mm. Jackson, mm. as well, yeah, thrives in mm. situations where he can play the way he's facing. Do you know what I mean? You saw about the yeah, assistant yeah, yeah. of Raheem Sterling, the little flick around the corner, then the pass and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. There's no reason why Rasmus can't do that for us. There's no reason there why Rasmus. Rasmus there's no reason why yeah, I think Rashford, Leon said that. Leon there's said no that. Reason the why team, Rasmus yeah. can't play yeah, in the areas that Nunes plays for Liverpool. There's no reason mm. why he can't play in those areas. When he's playing backing into players that are bigger and stronger than him, bro, there's not many times I'm seeing him backing into centre backs and getting the better of them. More times he's on the receiving end and he's on the floor. Do you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, yeah, that part of the game, yeah, is something that you either grow into or you don't. That's the reason why Wenger always played Theo out wide. And he kept saying, oh, Theo yeah. wants to play down the middle. He said, nah, he's yeah, not ready. Yeah, yeah. Because when you want to play with back to goal, yeah, and you're moving in between these pockets and mm. players are coming to get you and you can't see them, bro, you, you've you got to have a certain level of intelligence to play in those places or you have to have a certain level of strength. He doesn't have the strength to not be smart enough at the moment. That's why he's on the floor so much. Do you know what I mean? Go watch Tony play the nine 
and go watch Rasmus play the night. I, I think, you know what it is, yeah? Just just how, I, I, think Hoyland, I, I think Hoyland gets a bit of a bad rap, if I'm totally honest. Just because, yeah, obviously he's at Man United, and I get it, the expectation is going to be high at 70 plus million. But the way he started off his career at United, not scoring many Premier League goals, to now what he's doing, seven in six games yeah, or whatever, is the youngest player to get that run. Good. Mentally, he's shown that he can come through the tough times. I think at 21, the all round game he's showing, and I agree with Neji at uh, parts of this, like the link up, the little flicks around the corner, like Saeed said. I think that. Premier League strikers normally peak at 25 plus. And what he's showing me already is that in the next two, three years, this guy's going to be a very good dominant forward. And look, beggars can't be choosers. I think the striker market is starving out there. And Rance, Mm -hmm. I also agree with you on Jackson. I think Jackson gets a bad rap from Chelsea because when he went to AFCON, they were missing that focal point, the guy that can link it up. I actually He's think the Jackson same amount of goals as Rasmus Hoyland, but everyone's calling him a decent already. player. I think both of them are the decent. I think Jack, I think both of them are decent in different ways. I think Rasmus is actually a proper number nine, and I think we're going to see that over time. Like at, at the end of the day, second half of games is my weakness of Hoyland. I think after the 60th minute, he looks a bit tired. He gets burnt out a bit. He gets subbed off. But in the first half, he's obviously effective, and I think he needs to um, work on his like long distance in like impacting games. But I'm happy with what I'm seeing. And the bottom line is right yeah. is that Man United haven't had really a player that's going to score the goals that he scored. And I think they're so important because I always say the goal against Aston Villa, the one away from home, flick on from the corner, he's there. The Luton one, even just the instinct to turn his shoulder and be there, chasing down a defender, getting it back and winning it and taking it around the keeper. He's scoring a different combination of goals. But I love even the tappings because Man United, yeah. even Oli said it, I want Martial to be a number nine because he's got all the ability, but he doesn't have that desire to score like the tappings, you know, that make that breaking run to, you know, score a goal. Hoyland will break his neck to score a goal. And I think he's... You know, you know the beauty of 21 years of age, man. Let's give him... You know the beauty of football. It doesn't matter how the ball goes in and it doesn't matter who scores. Exactly, bro. And I love that. So when you're saying, oh, we don't have the kind of player to score these kind of goals, I don't give a fuck how they go in. And this this is the difference. People are like, oh, we don't have that striker that's going to break his nose and that. Bro. We do now. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, the goals still come from somewhere. Mm. Like like man said, what last season Rashford scored twenty odd goals. You know what I mean? And this season we're on course to score less goals. Mm. So even though we score in different types of goals, we're going to score less. It doesn't matter yeah, how the goals you, go so in. you do not think what Hoyland's done. It after the how they go had, in. He's got twelve, got thirteen goals in. He's got thirteen goals this season. At the start of the season, I said, you know what? I'll take probably fifteen to goals in all comps. Chaps even said even said you got twenty exactly. in all comps. That'd be good. He's on key for that, and he's probably going to exceed that at the moment. I think he's just exactly. getting a bit of a bad rap. And what he's come through, the mentality, it should be like, yo, why are we not sat here p- applauding him or just saying, you know what, big up Rasmus, because even though the team are flopping, at least he's scoring goals. Why are we always got to find a negative and someone doing something nah, positive? Bro, brother? No, but the difference, <laughs> is, the difference is, yeah. You get me? Like, rap, the rap, is, I feel like yeah, I put bro, you in the back of the van now. Hey, bro. What's <laughs> oh, that? Is that how you moving? Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. I'll be honest, yeah. Like, <laughs> I, it, will, it will never be that tight. So get that out of your head, innit? Park that off, innit? Since we're talking about vehicles, you can't park that off, blood. Because that would never happen. You know, like that. But the point is, yeah, man have to uphold certain standards, yeah. There's loads of different ways. There's loads of different ways of looking at it. Because you're saying, oh, yeah, he's overcome adversity and all that. But, bro, we're Man United. If our striker goes 16 goals or 16 Premier League games without a goal, yeah, we should, he should have sat his, we should have sat his ass down and we should have had someone else. The point is, we don't have no one else. And I said the same thing with Garnacho, yeah? If we keep playing this U, eventually the stats are going to start to favour him because man's playing so many minutes, bro. So when you're saying, oh, yeah... But I you're comparing see- Hoyland... No, 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 no wait, 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 no. I'm just saying that the same premise is, if you keep playing a player, they're going to get numbers, bro. So when you're saying he's overcome adversity, bro, we didn't have no fucking choice, blood, but man to score because he keeps Okay, playing. can I ask you then and something? Also, what's it going to take for you to... What's it going to take to maybe... Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. And also, no, I don't need to praise him more, yeah? I'll give him credit for what he's doing, but I'm not going to overpraise him because we're still Manchester United. He's still the guy that's... No leading one's overpraising him. United. No one's praised what him. What do you mean no one's crazy. overpraising him, bro? Listen, the way men are glazing this youth, yeah, is crazy. Like, they're forgetting that man wasn't scoring for time. And furthermore, you're talking about, I can see what we're going to have in two, three years, bro. Listen, that's good for you. We're Manchester United. I'm talking about what we have now. And that's what I'm always talking about, what we have now. At the end of the day, I don't care about the age of these guys, bro. No one's talking about Kobe's age because he's performing at a high level every week. So it's not about the age. We're talking about his quality. Kobe's an anomaly, though, man. All this talk, yes, he is. And exactly, we're Manchester United. So 
When players that age are playing for Man United, they're meant to be anomalies. This is the whole point. I'm the one upholding the standards. Man United has never been a development club and it never should be a development club. Like I said, look at Real Madrid. When they're bringing in players like Arda, players like Endrick, yeah, around these ages, they're, they're bringing these men in, yeah, as world-class talents. They're going to be one of the best players in the world in their head. And if they're not in, in a couple of years, they're gone. They're not, they don't bring in experimental players. They bring in players that have proven themselves somewhere else, bro. We are hoping that he's going to turn into something with no real but basis. For me, there's a lot of other bigger problems than Rasmus Hoyland right now. Uh, but, but again, no, you're no, moving no, the goalposts. We're not talking no, about not. problems. Yeah, yeah. But, I, about, I, just I just think, like, I just think if you can't see something. that, if you can't see simply that he's going to be a good striker for us right, and what he's done at the moment. Ty, I'm not going to lie, right. you've shifted the convert a few times. Though. Exactly. Why have you done that, bro? No, 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 I can't remember no, 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 when people do that. I can't lie. I think we're being harsh but, on, on, on Figgy. But yeah, but I, did, I just think the general thing is we're being harsh you're the Holy oh FC. Why are you crazy. quiet, Trax? You're Holy FC. You're the Holy FC. You're the Speak up. No way. Speak up, Holy FC. I'm listening. I'm actually thinking about it. You're like, Random are coming about, oh, we need to give him credit for it. But at the end of the day, you know, I tell a man all the time, when you look at things, you have to look at for things for what they are. Yeah. Look at yeah. Rasmus Hoyland yeah. for what he is and who he is. Now, I put my hat, I put, I, I put my hat on, on the line and I said, look, he'll get 20 goals all competition. I put money on it with Steve. You lot all laughed at me. You said you was laughing your head. Oh, 20? Yeah. Hey, big up yeah. to you, bro. Fuck he you was know. hilarious. You thought it was hilarious. Like, he did, he did. But, yeah. at the end, at the, look, Not fair. At, at, what you have to look at is this, is that, I said when I'm looking at it, I'm like, do I know Rasmus Hoyland? No. Have I seen have I seen a lot of Ras game time with Rasmus Hoyland? No. What do I know about Rasmus? Uh, I'd to pay 20 million for him. That's a lot of money for them. He's come here, he scored five goals in the Champions League. A lot of men have not done that in a lot of, in a lot of Champions League runs. So that's what you've been given. That's what you've been offered so far. So for me, it's that like, can he score goals? Now they've moved it to like, oh yeah, the the, the Champions Premier League, League. The Premier League's different than the Premier yeah, League. Yeah. But the fact is. He scored goals in the Champions League. Whether in the Premier League or not, he yeah. has scored goals. So I knew he would always score goals. And, then, and obviously, he went on a run, which is a long run. And it's true, them kind of runs, you do get taken out of the team and someone else has to replace you in that. But unfortunately, yeah. No, we didn't no, have no one else. Fortunately, fortunately for him, he's been able to have that run of games, get his confidence together, get his gameplay together. And I, I, he's going to score 20 goals this, this and, if, and at the end of the day, if he's 21 years of age, he's come, he's scored 20 goals. I don't think anyone can have chat for him, to be honest. I don't think anyone can. That's it, bro. That is you know what I'm saying. Have, 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 you know what it is with me? I'd rather have more energy. I'd rather have more energy for Bruno Fernandes. Because I got to lie to you, man. Yeah. Lady, you've been talking oh, a let, lot of smoke. Let, let Leon land before we... Yeah, I want to hear what Leon's going to say. You know what I mean? Because I need to... I need to... I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. I don't want to be disrespectful. I kind of heard what you said. I don't want to be disrespectful. 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 Obviously, different conversations trigger different things. I think Ty and AG, I think we're not, in my, from my perspective, I can only talk from my opinion. I'm not saying that Hoyland isn't good and I'm not happy with what he's done. I don't think he's going to be, I personally don't think he's going to end up being a world class Ballon d'Or list striker. I don't think he's going to get there that far. I think he might be a good addition where he comes off the bench for us when we've got a better striker in the next few years. Because if Man United go out this summer and buy Harry Kane and he's on the bench, yeah, I'll take that. When it yeah. comes to, Hoyland, we have to also give it a bit of context because a lot of the goals that he's scored have been assisted by the opposition. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not taking that credit away from him sticking the ball in the net, but they haven't been trapped the ball, so turn a player and bang. Do you know what I mean? He scored a couple of like, he scored that one way broke away in the nah, Champions League. He scored a couple Leon, of good ones man. recently. Yeah, yeah bro. I can't has, have that. Listen, yeah, yeah. I watched. Let me not buy it, man. Let me not buy it. Listen, listen, listen. Also, anticipation. If man's in the right place at the right time, and anticipation, that's a sign of a striker. Relax. Let me land. Let him land. Let him land. Let him land. Let him land. But now, I watch the way that people create goals. And I'm not saying, listen, you're all taking it as I don't rate him. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I can't be going over, over, over on the praise. Yeah. I can say, look, well done. You scored the goals. Enjoy the present. His ability and his attributes are rare. I don't look at them as like he's going to bag 30 goals every year. You know, I, I just don't look at it like that, innit? Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? But so, I, I, from what I've no, seen. 100%. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. I think the foresight, obviously, we, we, we're here now. We can't really predict the future. But for now, I just feel like we're, we're overboarding that maybe that criticism for 
Highland. I phrased him. I, I, I just don't want to do the stats thing. I just don't want to do. No, because I'm listen though. I don't want to do the stats thing. It's like the youngest player to ever rare and pull up stats. No, no, no. No one's talking. No, no. Do the truth is, yeah, I don't get it because no one's talking about Ballon d'Or and no one's mentioned about Ballon d'Or. No one's overpraised him on the show. No one's here been overpraising him. We're just talking about he's good. No, because when I when we when we said the point originally, when we. When yeah, we no said one's the point originally, and then yeah. like, man, you're talking tie, about tie, 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 right? Tie, 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 tie. I'm challenging you on something. Yeah, and then no, you're listen, talking about Ballon no, it's because you know why, bro. Tie, There's not you know why? Strikers out there now that tie, I could tie, call it. Do you know why? It's because when we first started talking about it, the narrative from you and AG was that, oh, can't you praise him? You man don't rate him. No one said they don't rate him. Like, it was a that? case of I don't want to over, over, you over praise it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just said the guy. That's, that's, what, that's where the conversation was getting pushed no to. That's where the tone. No, that's where the tone no. of the conversation was going towards. No, no, no you know what it no, is. No, that's yeah? where the, like, too many it's things. Not what you said. It's how you said it. Nah, Tai. What you you don't understand? I just said he's serious. Nah, but you man are decontextualizing a lot of things. Of what he's saying, like even the fact that when he's saying about he's he's not a great talent, yeah. Bro, you need to look at the context of who we are as a football team, yeah? Exactly. What we've brought man in to do and how man are celebrating what he's supposed to be doing, bro. Like, all of this stuff going back to the age and how long he's been in the league and all of that, that's all cope, bro. Because at the end of the day, yeah, as a Man United, if you go out and you get a striker, yeah, and you spend 72 million on them and they're 21 or 20 years old, by default, they, they should be world beaters because one, we're Man United and we should be going for the best. And two, at that age, to be at Man United, you have to be. We're talk the 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 buzzwords now at Man United is best in class. That's that's the buzzword that's going around from the owners. Like mm. I said, this is why I compared what Real Madrid do. If they're going out and they're buying young players, these guys are special. Like everyone knows that Endrick just won um won a title for his team. He's coming over. He's he's looked at the next guy to be the guy out of Brazil. The same with Arda Gula and that. If they're gonna go out and get young players, and all of them cost less than Hoyland, by the way. If they go out and get these players, yeah, they're going out and getting them because in their head, this is what they're gonna become. What he's saying is, yeah, he doesn't believe that the, he'll ever reach the level of those kind of players. Yeah, that's, that, what that's, cool, that, that's, that's what he means. That's what he means. No one's going to find the ball. No, no, why, no, why is that? No, no, but why is that though, cool? Where Man though. United, it shouldn't be cool. This is the point. No, I'm saying that's cool. Exactly. If he doesn't think that, if he doesn't think that, that's cool. But all I'm all we're saying, you, you're, you're talking about, yeah, you said earlier about you rather focus on the now, what's now, yeah? Man United, yeah, not yeah. Big Man United. So right now, yeah. right now, what Hurland is doing for what he's in, that's what I'm going. If we have to get rid of him when we when we get better, no stress. We can have that conversation mm. then. But right now, mm. per your words, okay, okay. where we are, right leave now, us that one. We are not big Man United. Hoyland is doing really well for where he's at, and we have not gassed him up. We're saying, you know what? Most people didn't think you'd be able to do this. We're saying you've done it. Well done. We're not saying, okay, Ballon d'Or, okay. oh, you're this guy. We're not doing that. This is why I'm the entire life. What? Where's the over gas? Uh, can I just say right, one more can thing? Though? Can I just say one more thing? Really? I wanted to end it there. I wanted to end it there. Go on. Go can on, I, can I just add one me. tiny thing, Sai? Just one tiny thing. It's not that we're saying. Yeah, I think on. the difference is yeah, and I think maybe Rant's on the same wavelength for me in this. I'm not saying that he's doing bad. I just don't think he's doing really well. I think he's just doing exactly. what he should be doing as a standard. Yeah, exactly. That's my okay. okay. What me and Sai notifying is over gassing. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right. If a man's doing what he's supposed to be doing. And you're praising it like man's doing something amazing that is overhyping. Yeah, the it bar's is, on the floor, really. man. I don't the bar's on the floor. Praising someone no, overhyping. No, no, no. Praising no, no, overhyping. No, no. Because we didn't expect a lot from we didn't expect a lot from Hurling, and he's, no, we didn't. We didn't, say, we didn't I, expect I thought, a lot. Exactly. He's already on thirteen thousand minutes pump. So we need actually. Yeah, but if we didn't expect a lot, why did we buy him? Again. Because we, because yeah. I know Ten Hag wanted Kane as well. Like, Ten Hag wanted two strikers for seventy million, for million as well. He's a second class. No, but why did we expect a lot from him? Why did we buy him? We're meant to have seven strikers. That's right. Buy him then. Javier Hernandez off the bench. Seven million. Oh my God! Time up, time up, time up. I want to move on. I want to move on because I can't lie to you. There's a lot of energy for Rasmus Hoyland, but the main guy we need to talk about is Bruno Fernandez. Oh no, Saeed, you've really opened a can of worms now, bro. You have been brought <laughs> to the court. You have called him world class. <laughs> you have him, don't worry, man. You've called him better than De Bruyne. No, the judge. Better IQ. Neji, come to the IQ. stand right IQ. now. Better IQ. Get you say he's got better IQ than KDV. Yeah, I was. Neji, step forward. Yeah. Step forward, Neji. Step forward. Come off, come off video, man. Don't hide and say. Neji, step forward. Death row settings for you. 
No, you do. It's death row set. It's, no, it's time to cook. It's time to cook. You know, I've been waiting for this hey, all day. Let Neji. Rooster, <laughs> come off. I can't show. I can't. I can't show this. I can't show the strap online. I can't show the strap online. Rooster's <laughs> 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 right. polishing. Three, it. I'm polishing it up in the way. Yeah, talk, talk to me, talk to me, Rooster, man. It's been a long one, man. No, I just want to know what your 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 energy is, because like you said to me, oh, you know what my energy is, bro. The ball away. I, I said to you the context of the way Bruno Fernandes gives the ball away, the way Bru uh, De Bruyne gives the ball away, two different things. When you look at Bruno Fernandes, yeah, now. No, hold, hold on a minute. When you look at Bruno Fernandes now, in that game against Luton, yeah, and the way he was giving the ball away, I was pissed off for that reason. But then you kept talking about um, De Bruyne and he loses the ball all the time and so on forth. Yeah. Odegaard loses the ball all the time. I said I don't really care about them two, though. I don't understand yeah, that they do give the ball away. But I'm looking at Bruno Fernandes over the past couple of years. He has been a detriment to the way we play. Yeah, he gets that's the GA award. But you yeah, I look him as a footballer. Way. Sorry? If that's how you no, feel, you that's talking class. for you, bro. But you that, that doesn't align for me. So we're all no, going to have a disagreement. You have to understand that before you can get into you a conversation. Player who's got massive flaws in his game. You can't be calling it. Every player's got massive player. flaws in his oh, game. Yeah. Even KDB, bro, he's overrated. Wow. Wow. See, that's a whole different thing. overrated. Yeah. No, 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 Take no, no, him no. out of that Pep system. What is he? He's I, not I, the I, real person. You don't get the same player. He's still better than Bruno. I agree. That's what you think, bro. I'm just saying, bro, listen. I'll keep it 100, Saeed. Listen, put me on stand. Do what you're doing. My opinion is my opinion. I speak for myself. If I can sit here, ask questions and not get the answers I know, I know I'm onto something. Because that means you've missed something. Because you can't tell me. Right, go I'm, on, asking, I'm sitting go here going, okay, if, and by, bear in mind, I'm going to land this nicely, yeah? I don't care if a football player gives the ball away. I've already explained that. You might know that. But I'm mm -hmm. saying, as an observation of watching other people observe Bruno and KDB, I'm saying if they're upset at um, Bruno losing the ball, but KDB does it more often, why don't they have the same energy? Why is the measuring stick different? I don't care personally. I'm asking as an observation... Why is it? And no one's giving me an answer yet. Yeah, I'll give you an answer. Maybe, for oh, me, okay, I'll, well, give, I'll well, give you my answer. So when Bruno Fernandes gives the ball away, he's given the ball away for me in dangerous areas where teams can break on us in the transition. He also misplaces simple passes when he's given them away. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne, for me, does not give away simple passes when Man City is building an attack. Yeah, he does. He's given away That's the fact, ball when maybe he's crossing to Haaland or he's in the final third. So then when he loses exactly. the ball or maybe replace uh, another team try and break, the it's Rodri's the team so high up that they're winning the ball back before okay, the team's even crossed the halfway line. Right, so for me, me Kevin that, yeah? De Bruyne gives the ball away when it's sort of, I'll say, more affordable and thing. When Bruno gives Man, the ball away, I'm watching this, this, this I'm is watching the this break like on the so quick. I like that you're saying this. I love that you're saying this. I'm going to land it for you nice and easy, right? And this is what this is what I, I just did. talk about. When you, this, this is why when you observe um, Kevin De Bruyne, yeah, <laughs> and you observe him at Belgium, bro, when you give him the ball away, same time, oh, he's not in the same time. Oh, we're going to clash your football. Let's talk about club football. Bro, I'm talking about, listen, the context. No, no, no. Oh, Nay, Nay G, I just landed a point and you're not even responding to Nay, what I said. Like you like you're halfway through, as, as you know, Ty, yeah? Halfway through, you get triggered off. The nah, I'm with Nay G with this one. I'm with Nay G. I'm with Nay G. You so, haven't responded listen, to what I said about dangerous areas and where you're giving the ball away. Give me the courtesy to land it, I'm with him. So I'm going to give you a point. I'm going to give you a point, yeah? I'm a half with him, When KDB loses the ball, right? Man City, as a system, as a team, and the profiles run, they win the ball back more most of the time. When Bruno yes. gives the ball over the past of the four seasons that we've seen, it's detrimental. So, yes. so KDB gets the privilege of having his mistakes covered. Easy. When he makes a mistake, he doesn't yeah. get highlighted. No, he's because he's not giving away no, simple no, wait, passes with the boy in a dozen. I'll be real. Neji is right to a certain degree. Okay. And Ty is also right to a certain degree. The reason why, yeah... The difference between Bruno and KDB is that KDB has the better quality, technician, man. Yeah, looks good on the ball. Quality to play the passes that Bruno. There you go. Does. Do you know what I'm saying? So they might <laughs> both try <laughs> and play the first. Right, they, they might they might try and play the same pass, but the difference is KDB. Yeah, is ten. He looks good. Ten out of ten, and Bruno's is three. So because of that, yeah, Bruno's playing passes that he can't make. KDB's making passes yes. that he can so, make. He can you know make. So, so, so that's like, against you, Nagy. No, no, he's not backing you, Nagy. He's not backing you. So they both it. give the ball and away. That means, no, that, that means he's I'm in a Bruno. Bruno. No, but Bruno gives the ball away due to incompetence and KDB Yes, there you go. Carelessness. Oh, there you go. No, but yeah. How is he no, but how is, how is KDB but, not in competition? But, 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 but where I agree, but nah, what I land, agree land, with Neji and Nivier and also Musa is that KDB gets away with it because Man City system 
wins the ball back. Yeah. Whereas when he plays that's for what Belgium, I'm saying, he win it up that's why when he plays for Belgium, oh, he's trash. He's and this shit. is why I yeah. say he he's yeah. overrated. He's not well because right, can I say something after Rance? I'll go after Rance. But, 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 that's different. Uh, that's uh, different to what no no wait 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 that's different we're moving it we you said Bruno Fernandez yeah. is a better overall footballer overall than the point. We're not yes, talking about anything no, else. He's not. Yes, he is. He's so when not. you highlight his no, incompetence, no, you're proving our point, opinion. bro. I've proven that for me. All right, cool. Can I say something? Can I say an analogy? Yeah, cool. There's two people, yeah. They commit a crime, yeah. One person commits the crime way more than the other, yeah. Are you telling me the judge is going to be... One person commits the crime. So two people, there's two people. One person keeps doing the crime. The other person does the crime once in a while. You're going to put okay. the person that does it more in jail, more likely than the other person. On top yes, of that... Exactly. That's wait, TV, on top of that... And wait, no, That's wait, wait, wait. On top of that, yeah. What you I'm trying to say to you... No, thank you. Thank you very no, much. No, wait, wait, wait. No, no. No, 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 no. Neji, you're not going to do this because Rats just said to you, you're nodding your head like they're fixing the back of the car. Them church your things. Listen, listen, what? Listen, what? Listen. Rants was saying something that proves my point. He said that KDB does things he knows he can do. Bruno, Bruno does things he can't do because Bruno's more incompetent. So that means he's against. He's I'm proving what we're saying right. Give me the statement. So what we're saying is right. So why are you nodding your head like this? I want to debate that. I want to debate that. Let me debate that. Rano, you correct me if I'm wrong, Broski. Yeah, you just said to me if one man does again the crime more often, he's more likely to go to jail. Yeah. My one person's was, better at doing the crime. Okay, so yeah, what, cool. so, 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 so what? So, so wait, so if so if he if he's doing the crime more often and he goes to pen, is that what you're saying? Okay, look, That's let me make one. it simpler for you. Yeah. One. If right now you go and ask someone to get something for you, yeah. Are you going to trust the person that does it better? Or are you going to give it to the person that's going to likely get nicked? What, what, which one is it? Who are you picking? <laughs> who are you picking? <laughs> uh, who are you yeah, picking? Bruno, <laughs> Bruno, Bruno's <laughs> definitely <laughs> getting nicked. Bruno's getting nicked. Bruno's getting caught on the scene, bro. Why is it? Why is it? Why is it? Nicked. Uh, yeah, nicked. No gloves, you know. Why, Prince why, everywhere. Why Bruno. What's that guy Bruno? I said, man, got the fingerprints everywhere. Everywhere, bro. No gloves, nothing, bro. He's moving mad. You might have got no wicked on Bruno. You might have got really moved into the screws like the rat. This is what I was saying, Neji. When Bruno had Martial, Rashford and Greenwood in front of him, it was a different type of Bruno. And I think like, one, I'm not saying Bruno is the end will be when he's like, he's the best midfielder out there. But what I will say is the type of forwards that you have in front of you also minimise your mistakes. And in terms of the type of runs they, they can make or the type of movement that they have. When you have man up front who's premature or man who's just not really on anything and are scatty themselves, it's difficult. And this is why I always say that you can't have a Bruno, Rashford and Garnacho in the same team. You have to oh. choose one. They're too all scatty. Mm, All of them are scary. Yeah, Leon was saying, you have that, to have and, saying Yeah, you have to have one and then you have I'm to have scary. players around them that are clean. Yeah. Who can clean up certain scatty movements like Greenwood that's could fair, do that. Marshall can do that. And I feel like the problem Bruno has, and I said he was going to have this when I saw Pogba have it, where is that some of the things he's been accused of, Pogba started getting accused of to the latter stage of his career at Man United. Right. Saying he's giving the ball away, he's doing this. But when I watched this brother play, Saeed sent me a video, I think, the other day. Paul Pogba, hey, he is a bad boy midfielder. And I said to myself, no, and this was at Man United. Cold. I saw, yeah, and this was at Man United. And I said, you know what? It's easy to forget what people are capable I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm Musa, Musa, Musa. Let me lie, let me lie, let me lie. I swear he's a cut to the chase. The problem is, no, no, he quickly, didn't ask the, problem the problem question. Is, is, is KDB who's better? Who's better? That's no, the no, answer. No, no, Who's right, better? Right. Yeah, Who do you think's better? Bruno, 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 Bruno Fernandez is the yeah, old no, 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 answer. No, no, no. That's the answer ball, we need. Ball, yes, on and off the ball. Better no, ball, Musa, ball, sorry ball. to cut you off, but I'm okay, go, go, go on. Sorry, go on. Okay, go on. Who's the better footballer, Musa? And this is what I'll say: overall footballer who I prefer, I prefer KDB. But if you're gonna say to me, based on the based on their Premier League careers, and you look at their numbers and what they're capable of doing, and KDB being in one of the best Man City teams the Premier League has ever seen, 
while Bruno is in one of the worst Man United teams you've ever seen, and you compare mm. their numbers, don't take Bruno for an idiot. I just feel like it's easy oh, 100%, I get to overlook where you're what Bruno's from. done. Because if KDB was that. playing for us in the last 10 years, he would be the Bruno. I'm telling you for free. But no I think he'll be smarter than you know. Lisa. No, I think he'll be a bit smarter no, though. He would Do you know why? Because I don't know if KDB is better than Paul Pogba. Oh. And he couldn't help us. Yeah. No, you're Any right. You However, KDB's better than KDB, Pogba. KDB, no, he said he's not. But bro, listen. But KDB can see passes that Bruno don't see, bro. But Pogba, though, do you think he's better than Pogba? Hey, hey, oh, hey, Kevin De Bruyne hey, can play Pogba. a yeah. 30 yards with the outside of his foot, yeah. Bro, did you not see the one that Bruno did on the top row? The throw line outside the boot. He's better than Bruno. Bro, Tell bro. me he's never done that. Yeah, he's better than Bruno. He's better than Bruno. He's better than Bruno. Yeah, that's it, Musa. That's it, Musa. He got a mad assist. I think it was Erling Haaland against us, bro. Like, um, Even Rance. Rance, look at the one he did for Oscar Bob. That Oscar Bob one yeah. is mad. Bro, that one's crazy. That, mad. That's mad. I'm trying to say, bro, there's evidence. But what I'm saying is, Bruno can do good things, but not like that. That's like you having jerk chicken, bro. You know it's where it's not from the kitchen. I've taken out the kitchen, put it on the plate, and you say, that's not my, that's not jerk chicken. All right, cool. No, no. And let me just say one thing, yeah. Let me just say one thing, and I'm done. All right, Nadia. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Nadia. Major, I'm just gonna say one thing. And I'm done in it because I don't want to talk over everybody. I yeah, get no, what you're no, saying no, no. in terms of certain things happen with Bruno and it gets covered up. But my problem is when you say KDB has less IQ, KDB is more no, no, sensible well, enough. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, you no, said no, Bruno's no, got no, more IQ. No, yes, you did. No, no. And you weren't talking about the singer. You were talking about IQ. I know. You never said. Wait, wait. You never said what? I never said K. I never said KDB has less IQ ever. But you basically said wow. that he's, he's, he's getting more intelligent footballer. I'm so sure I said he's a better footballer overall. Said, because yeah. Of, yeah. So then I'll you say you like said, you as well. I'll tell you what I said. There's no the receipts are there. Bruno was a better footballer overall because again the stuff on the only thing that KDB is better than in my opinion is that he's a better technician. I think Bruno's an ugly footballer. So when he makes the same mistakes that Bruno, um, KDB does, he gets pinned for it. And so where did you say too. where did you say well, Bruno's more intelligent? Did you say Bruno's yeah, more intelligent? He did say that. Bruno he did say that. Nigi, you've just contradicted yourself. You've just contradicted. How did I? Because yeah, you bro. Just basically said let me, let me, let me, let me land the you point. Put, you put no, IQ no. in all of that. You just basically Say said, again? Yeah. Two seconds. You just, no, you just I, I, Say you again. Did. Yeah, you did. You said, I never said his IQ is better. And then me and Rhino are basically saying. No, there is. No, okay. Wait one second. But you, you, no, you said two overall. Two players can be even. I don't, I don't think no, one is better on IQ. Just wait one second. They've got the same ability to do what they do. You man deny that they've got the ability to do it. Just one second. Your man is saying, oh, KDB is here IQ. I'm saying Bruno is here. They're equal. But the things that Bruno does better than my man is off the ball. My man can't do that. The creative stats are there to be to be shown. They're both creative players. And bear in mind, Bruno's that's more mobile than him. The I'm hundred percent. Bruno's more mobile than him, and so am yeah, I, I, bro. That. And I just had a. I didn't say mobile. I said off the ball. That doesn't say anything. anything. <laughs> you won't. You won't. You, you won't get KDB <laughs> in this United team doing what Bruno does. But you know what? Though? I guarantee you won't get that. Oh, oh, Neji, can I be real? This guy's mad. Can I be real? Neji, if he's world class, you know what he's saying. You might never hear what he's saying. It's an equal. <laughs> you you. Look, you've got your opinion. You're entitled to that. Right. Shout, yeah, shout, no. shout out to Eddie, who I'd speak to on Flawless's channel. Yeah, Bruno's out here running laps, and Eddie's got Kenyan family. Bruno's out here running laps. <laughs> <laughs> just running laps bro. Literally just running laps. So for me personally, yeah, you can't. In my opinion, yeah, and I'm going to be strong on it. Yeah, you can't question Bruno's IQ and say it's better. Sorry, you can't question KDB's IQ and say it's not better. I didn't, I've never questioned his. Yeah, IQ. Let him land. Let him land. Let him land. Let him land. Yeah, but you, yeah, not yeah, let him land. No, because I let him land, but don't misquote me because I'm going to say no, something. You've basically just said, said that. that. You've just said that before, bro. Because we because no, right. No, 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 no. no let me, let me just tell you what you just said. Let me tell you what you just said. Let me just tell you what you just said, bro. Oh, you have to let him land. You can't keep cutting him off, bro. Let me let him land. Listen, don't miss finish random show. Don't miss no. Nadi, Nadi, the more you let him land, if you disagree, Nadi, the more you let him land, and if you disagree, then you can come back to it in full, innit? It's cool, it's cool. Don't worry. We'll do that. Go on, then. We won't hurt my talk. That's cool. We'll do that. Yeah. So basically, yeah. Um, Rhino, somebody questioned you and said about, oh, you think Bruno's IQ is better. You straight away said, no, I didn't say that. And then, and then about two seconds later after that, they said overall. Do you think he's better? And you said, K who, what stat did you say? You said KDB, you said Bruno's, you didn't say IQ, you said one, one attribute is better than 
KDB. Yeah, but no, I'll, but I'll, that tell means that, well, I'll tell you what I said. So you've got the. You get but that means by, by saying that, technician. by saying that, you meant all of the other attributes. No, I didn't. I'll tell better. you what I meant. You're that nicked, term, man. And again, You're I, I, I repeat it. I repeat okay. it nice and easy. There are some things that you can be equal at. I said that. It, I mean, you but can why? literally rewind <laughs> it two minutes. You can be equal. I don't think there's a difference between their IQ. People think there's this. Ah, I don't. Jeez. That's it. Okay. The reason why Bruno doesn't have IQ is number no one. IQ. Is number one because of his self awareness is non existent. He doesn't know how to play for the team. His self awareness is non existent. When we're under pressure, he can't think. And remember, this guy's the captain of our team. That means nothing. No, no, but I'm saying, but I'm, it does because you are seen as the person that people look to in times of Thanks. let's get a result, let's let's show the right example, let's play the right play the ball, right let's example. make the right decision. Look, yes, you set the tone for the team. Right fact, decision. Yeah, Leon, 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 Leon. We're talking about the captain. Yeah. Set the tone for the team. What did Roy Keane do then? The captain. Let, let me look at this. Neji, Mandem, we all watch the game. Let me about that one point. Take me ten seconds. We all watch the game against Luton Town. Yeah, away from home, two one up, ninety third minute with four minutes added on. Man United get a corner. Yeah, Bruno Fernandez. Shoot from the blood clark corner. Now, who's got IQ that does that? You hold it up in the corner flag, like a man decides to shoot. Give them a counter attack. Hold on. Give them a counter attack. Nah, you know Give them a yeah, counter attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've changed my opinion. I've changed my opinion. I've changed my opinion. I've changed my opinion. What did he say? You change he says changes the opinion. Changes the opinion. But Bruno Fernandez got the IQ of Pikachu. Yeah, you know where he's landed. You know where he's landed. You know where he's landed. Nah. Well, every, you know, is I just remember that Bruno can do that, 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 that Gerard thing. Come on and just get man a goal. Like he can score a goal on his own. He can get the ball, do a one-two with a man, and just bang it in. Like Bruno just yep. can't do that, man. And as, and I think that's something no, he's, he's missing. Doing it no more. Look at, yeah, the way they shoot. That. Look at the way they shoot. Look at the, the way they shoot. Madden. The way they shoot. Yeah, because you're, you're talking about how it looks on the eye, but again, it, okay, this uh, is the difference. One, one yeah? second, Madden. One second. Yeah, what well, do you One second. One second. A couple of super chats I'm going to read out. Uh, Team Nathan says, Rance is spot on. Never been a development club. Standards have dropped. So far, man, are doing the arsehole figure talking about the future never arrived. Ooh. Big up to uh, kill us in the chat. And uh, knowledge says, hey, lady, the difference is that City is built to accommodate KDB. If they lose the ball, they win it but... back less than 20 seconds. Bruno does the same bread, same brain dead passes unprovoked. Unprovoked, to the team's oh, yes. That's, yes. That's, yes. That's, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. Uh, but let, yeah. Me just, let me just finish it off and then we'll get back to it. Marco Mardino says, the decided this dude running away. Your fans slowly, fam. Stevie G did nothing for England, so he's shit. Uh, enough brutal excuses. Kobe is outclassing now again. Different KDB profiles. one player of the year in Germany 2015. Don't just watch the EPL, my brother. Uh, big up stuff. He says, Call Ten who can't dribble the ball. A complete player is a crime within itself. Ryan, don't forget Bruno or KDB going to jail. Put Neji in jail. Nah, and then don't, don't do that either. Yeah, hold, hold on a minute. This one as well. Better technician equals yes. better nope. IQ. I disagree with that. You know what I mean? Again, you're using te words that no, no, no. Really so te te you know what I mean? Like, you're using words about Neji, context. Neji, but really I'm really explain it. I'm say to... what you mean. And then again, no, people will say... Bro, listen. Listen, if someone... And there's no... Listen, just because someone used the word technician and they equate it to IQ, I don't. So when I talk, I talk for myself. If I'm saying better technician, I'm saying the terms, way, though. I'm gonna learn for terms. you. Technician to me is technique. So how you acute the ball, how you hit the ball, yeah. IQ, IQ for me is what you see here. That's got nothing to do with okay. how you hit the ball. So I got Nag. Go, go on. I like. I like where this is going. Go on. Let me explain it. Let me explain it. No, no, no. It's a technician. Before you go, what is the definition of a technician? Bro, is a technician a guy who strikes the ball well? I don't think that's a technician. No, of a, it's all right. No, a technical I'll just ability give you one in the example. game. Yeah. A, technician, a, technician you, a technician is not just striking the ball. A technician is the whole game. Man said bro. a technique. A technique. Bro, <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro <a> technician. <laughs> no, 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 no. Split up the word. Ra no, 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 no,
Bro, oh, you listen, see, yeah. 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 perspective here. Yeah. If you I look at Zach Brinson, yeah. Are you actually like kidding a, me, right? Like, this is a crazy like a sound technician or what something. What do you mean? No, no. He's literally standing there. Madam, 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 madam. Madam, let Neji explain it. Madam, let Neji explain it. Let him 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 explain all right, cool. So, it? can I ask you something, Neji? So, when Bruno does the passes that he knows he can't make, isn't that his brain being well, stupid? You, but that's if you isn't think that him he stupid? Can't make it. Why do you think you make a pass if you can't make it? That's dumb. Huh? Yeah. Well, now we need. Yeah, you're so We need examples. We need examples now, but we need an example. You think, yeah? Oh, we need okay, examples. I don't think I can make it, but I'm gonna do it. That's what Bruno does. No, that's what Bruno does. does. We need oh, we need right, examples. Right. We need wait, 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 Bruno, yes. yeah. No, Bruno no, doesn't even look. He yeah. just yeah. the ball, yeah. lad. Okay, safe. safe. When, when the, the ball's not on. When the ball's not on, Neji. I don't think their mentalities exist at the time. That's why their is unprovoked. Wait, Neji. Neji, Luton please. have professional players. They're still Luton. Well, the professional thing doesn't what change nothing. What do you mean nothing. they're still Luton? What's that? Bro. Their level... Does it? Yeah, oh, Nick. He's Nick's, Nick's man. That's he's deflection. Nick's. Deflection. Deflection. No, no side. Need the music. Side. We need the music. Yeah. 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 Yeah of a player who's not technically gifted with a high IQ. Just an example, who this player is. Okay, That's when so we know I'll what you're say, talking about. So off the top of my head, I'll say Mo Salah. I think he's an ugly baller. I don't think he's a great technician striking the ball. However, he gets the job done. He's effective. This is why I always, I always keep saying my... So you say that he's got a high IQ. Say again? He's got so IQ. you say, you, you say he gets Mo... the job done. He's effective. That yeah. doesn't mean he's high IQ. No, but it's not the same thing. Mm. I just know what's the same thing. He's got high IQ and he gets the job done. He's effective. But I say he's an ugly baller. So I don't so think you the think most Salah... I don't think his technique is great. When he dribbles, he don't look good. Mo Salah same, ain't no same, IQ. Same, all right, he's even better. better. I even give you I'll give you an extreme example. Wan Bissaka looks like a donkey. Technically, he's awful on the ball. However, oh, wow. does he get the job done? Therefore, oh, he's effective. You wow. man have a but different You're talking thing. about IQ. Man said technicians, he said he gets IQ. the job done. Yeah. Hey, you're talking around in circles. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. saying he's we need an example of a poor technician with a high IQ. I'll give you one, Mo Salah. Halas, Mo Salah's got a high IQ, you think? High IQ, Nathan. No, man, Halas. He hasn't got high IQ. No, but I'm, say, I'm saying that you use Wan oh, Bissaka and Mo Salah. They're not the best example. Mo Salah hasn't got a high IQ. No, but you use Wan Bissaka. Okay, I, 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 Leon, Leon, Leon. Okay, on I, Neji. Okay, Neji, one, 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 one more question. Who makes, better, who makes better decisions out of Bruno and KDB? So even, quite even. It is even. Gee, yeah. oh, all right, cool. Oh Say no more. Yeah, bear, bear in mind, and I'm leaving out this. Bear in mind, one of them makes decisions bro. and he doesn't reach his doesn't reach his destination, and he's in a better can system I, like Musa said. Can I just tell you why I fundamentally disagree with that? Because if you look yeah, at the way that if you look at the way that KDB plays the ball sometimes, and he wraps it around players where they feel like mm. they're going to get it, and he wraps it in between two mm. midfielders. Yeah, to me, playing the ball on the floor in that way is a lot safer to get a rebound back into midfield when this guy yeah. boosts it and defenders go. <laughs> Boom, chill yeah. out. Pass yeah, but like I said to you, Leon, yeah? yeah. Why is it? Why is it that KDB, yeah, when he's doing this and more in games, he don't get the same heat? So I don't Because he's doing and more. And more. Because he's doing and more. Let me land before you reply. At but you're moving as it again. Minimum, as a minimum, Rhino, yeah? yeah. So I, so I'm going to, let's say I'm in your train, yeah? Let's say we're notifying these things that Bruno does. Oh, and we don't like it. Why are we seeing the same from the play that you rate and he does it more across the whole pitch, by the way, not just in the final, across the whole pitch. And you just said the same. I just gave you an example. He, he doesn't do the same. He does. It's a fact. He, he does, does not wrap that ball. Oh.
Let trucks come in. Let trucks come in. Let for a while. I'm going to read super chats in a bit, people. Don't yeah, 100%, worry. man. Super I'm going to have to call air traffic control. Man's been landing for like 10 minutes. It's crazy. Bro, 10 minutes. Evidence. You're listening. Jeff, what I'm saying. You want to deny the evidence? That's for you. I'm not denying evidence. There is no evidence, man. You've been licked. You've been licked. You've been charged, mate. Listen, that makes you feel bad, man. Say your bit. Brother, let me let me let me land, bro. Yeah, go on. Chops. What you saying, Bob? Chops. What's the deep thing, bro? All right, yeah, man. Look more, look more. Say your bit. Say your bit. All right, all right. I'm gonna move about, the conversation. I'm gonna move on from Bruno. Yeah. Losing yeah, move on, man. And obviously, in the better season, I saw, I'm sure didn't 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 Belgium get to like the, the the semi-finals of the World Cup or something at one point? Did they not get with with this with, with, with this man fucking losing the ball and doing what they was doing? The point is, yeah, is that when you have when, when you're a better footballer than someone, you're better in every way, shape, and form. Yeah, there's no question of it. And for me, look, I do understand certain mm-hmm. things. I do I do strongly believe that if Bruno was in that Man City team playing that same role. He wouldn't get the smoke that he does. But at the end of the day, he should know where he's at. He know he should know where he's at. Know what he's doing. <laughs> and know that this kid can't run. Traps, so I think he would. Yeah. Yeah. Having that I IQ, think he would. Yeah. Like you, you, IQ is knowing what you can and can't do. Do you understand? So if if you don't, if you can't, if you're in a situation where you know if I do this, this is gonna happen. So it's I, it's likely I shouldn't do this. Yeah, you shouldn't do it. So that's why you get heat, isn't it? Because you do dumb shit that you know you shouldn't really be doing because you don't have the players around you. And you and at the end of the day, you have a better off, IQ be if you do the sensible but stuff. Side, make my screen bigger. Side, when when he's done, make my screen bigger, please. And then we're done the conversation. Next yeah, right, topic. Man, yeah, no, no, one thing, one, hey guys, one thing I say about the KDB thing, we've seen Pep come out and he's <laughs> saying that you know what? He even doesn't like the amount that KDB gives the ball away sometimes. He doesn't like it, but the difference is, is how KDB gives the ball away, bro. Mm. KDB mm. gives the ball away trying to play a pass with a decent weight on it or something like that, bro. I've never seen someone pass KDB the ball and him just blast it up in the air. I've seen Bruno do that bare yeah. times. Ball comes to Bruno and he just clarts it, like away, mm. like anywhere, just to get it away from himself, bro. Mm. The way he gives the ball away is the reason why it's even worse, bro. Because he doesn't look for people. Mm. He just hits the ball right. like hey, that hey, way. Bro, mm. Like, bro, he's hey, the worst. Hey, Rand, Rand, the fact that the, France, hey, the fact that, the fact that Neji point, said point, do, point, footballers, they, do footballers yeah. do stuff that they can't do and Neji said, no, they don't. Well, bro, he shot from a corner in the 94th minute against Luton. There's your yeah. example, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't go He doesn't for no reason. Yeah, but it's not. It's not. Yeah, but Neji. possibility of him scoring is 2%. Bear in mind, I do hear that. Bear in mind, like, go on, drops. Do you think? I do hear that, but if he, if he, if he, if he scores that, it's a whole different. It's a different conversation. Yeah, but bro, bro, bro. The probability of him scoring from the quarter flag, we no, know I, it's trying to catch the keeper off guard. That's what happens. That's normal. In injury time, when we're trying to win the game, but I don't. And you can hold it up. You can hold it up. No, no, we're not, we're not doing this. Hold to the it up. No, we're now doing coping mechanisms. This is now coping. This is now, you know, excuses. Oh, I'm lying is, KDB is a better stuff. footballer than Bruno. What's right in this thing? What's right in this thing? Man United, he'd be better than Bruno. Before we move on, though, man got to apologise to KDB because this is crazy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Please. Please. No one's apologizing. Right now, explain the wallpaper, man. Right now, explain it. Hey, listen. Oh, when the man didn't cry, I said, explain it. Hey, listen. All I'm gonna say here is Bruno Fernandez is in jail telling the man them that Rashford snitched on him and he's telling them <laughs> and they're TCTV. Right. They're CCTV, bro. Right. They're CCTV. Right. Right. Man them, man them, man them, man them. The yeah, last interview I saw with KD when the last interview I saw with KDB when they asked him about Premier League midfielders, he, he was on him in Bruno. Oh. So don't we're not say saying he's on the same level. Like it, but, don't like it. But yeah, I'm just trying to say that don't say it. it hurts them, bro. No, but he was only naming. So my thing is this. I'm not saying they're the same level. Oh, Alex Ferguson said about it, it, Bill they, Jones. Alex Ferguson said he's going to be the next Duncan <laughs> Oh, so now KDB ain't got IQ now. Now he's dumb. Now, now, now KDB ain't got IQ now. He's no, but KDB, 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 everybody waits for him. All, all the sudden. Bill- Random. Okay. He raised KDB, Bruno. Also, he raised Bruno. Also, he raised Bruno. KDB rates Bruno's numbers because they're both numbers ballers. He didn't raise Bruno's numbers. No, no, no. He didn't talk about the profile of the player. That's the facts. That's what's funny. Hold on, Lucy. Listen, you see, you see with the whole... Yeah, Bruno said that um, um KDB said that um he rates Bruno. He said Bruno's a creative monster, yeah. Basically, that just means yeah, he thinks yeah, he's a creative context. monster. Now I could I can say I can say to you, man, I'm an artist. 
and I can paint a load of crap, yeah? All the yeah, time. but you're not an artist, Trap. He's like, a I'm, professional I'm, I'm footballer, so he knows what he's talking wow. about. I'm a, pe- I'm a painting monster, <laughs> no, but... No, but... I'm it's giving an example. It's giving an example. No, but... KDB but he hasn't that, said that. He hasn't KDB said that. Listen, he hasn't said that. He's talking. He hasn't said that as a negative. When he said that about Bruno, he's not said it as a negative. My argument is that we don't have the system or the manager or the team to get the best out of Bruno or to get the best out of his either. attributes. And that's what it and same as Pogba. But is he better? This conversation is not about is Bruno, is Bruno, yeah, that's my thing. Like, Bru, I still that's believe it. Kevin De Bruyne that's what I said 10 minutes better ago. than Bruno. But besides that, there is a conversation where people say Bruno's crap and we need to sell him. So let's not forget that yeah, context yeah. that we have. On that as context, a, as a yeah. Club. Yeah, yeah but KDB. KDB. <laughs> man, what's behind you, Milo? What's behind you? What's behind me? No, because Neji said he does more than, so I've just put it there so we can read it. He does. We need to say more than Morgan. Bruno Fernandez without stats. Bruno without stats is a waste of time. Yeah, real talk. Really bad about that. Neji, Neji, that's it now. Enough, enough. Yeah, yeah, move on, move on. Yeah, yeah, want to move on because I want to move on. Last ten minutes of the show, I want to move on to the to the Ten Hag and whatnot. He says, "Your Man United, big up Don Perez said standards should be high." That's a Real Madrid fan speaking there. Big up to you, Kind FC says KDB consistently plays. Against yeah. low blocks in tight spaces, so of course he will get past his block. Bruno mm-hmm. just spams into his space. Incorrect. Yeah, the ball in his own half as well. Yeah. Oh, bro, let's bro. Obviously, come on, we can't. You know what I mean? Like, let's let's yeah, keep yeah, it moving. Toby bro. says Bruno had to just justify his crap performance by trying to score from the corner flag. O4 mm. player, worst captain. His PI <laughs> is insane. Imagine yeah, eight three rows from the final. Hey, more, so, hey, Amanda, more just more to ask you a question though: is, is Bruno people. Fernandez? Is Bruno Fernandez a worse captain than Harry Maguire? Oh, yeah, bro, I think, that's no think way. Close, Leon is a I think so. It's up there. I, I think that there, I think that Harry Maguire, yeah, is less detrimental to the team than Bruno. That's fact. Uh, yeah. Nah, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. You know, I that was a ta- that was a yeah. I am. Maguire did a lot. Maguire no, cost no, us a lot of points no, last no, season. No. Still, I can't even. Maguire's done some madness. Bro, when you deep in that football style, man. Hey, bro, I'll break it. I'll break it down this way. I break it. I'll break it down this way. I believe that there's. I believe that there's certain ways that we could play here to cover up Harry Maguire's deficiencies. You can't cover up those deficiencies because there's because bro, he's not good at anything. He's not good at anything. He's not good at anything. Leon, he's not good at anything. Leon, Leon, what do you think? That, that, I mean, do you like, again. This is mad. Bro, he leaves so many holes in our... Bruno leaves so many holes, yeah? Bruno leaves so many holes in our midfield, yeah? You know our defence is really not that bad. When you actually look at the fact that Hello. when we play games, even when we're conceding 22 shots, That's true. our That's defenders true. are exposed and they still do a good enough job of not getting yep. weighed in, bruv. I'm telling mm. you, because the amount these men get exposed, we should be losing games by sevens and eights yeah, every exactly, week. Yeah, yeah. But, that's but individually, many... individually, our defence, which has included Maguire at some points this season with Varane, have stood up to it, and Dallo as well. Dallo yeah. has stood up Maguire, to Maguire's it. Maguire's in form. I have to respect Bro, it. There you go. Bruno I, I, is the reason why these men are under conceding 22 shots. I He's disagree. a big fucking reason why. I would disagree. I, I, Bruno, a big reason. Why, why, is, why, is, why, is, why, is, why is it then Bruno's running 50, 60 yards from the area he is to make tackles? To do nothing. He's following on a Gallagher. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, wait. Hey, wait, 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 it was about fruit of our fruit for fruit for the field. Right? Well, the best defensive record. I just want to know. I just want to know. I just want to know. Leon, Madam, we don't want to be going back here. Yeah, Madam, Madam. Can we? Can we? Can we? What Leon say? So basically, for me, it's very close. Do you know why? Because like a number, a number ten should go clear of Maguire, but you got like. For all of the things that Bruno no, runs back and runs laps and does for you, you can't help but see in clearly the other stuff. Whole, a whole thirty-eight game season or thirty-six. You see whatever, what Maguire's yeah. done to Pogba. In mo- in most see what Maguire, Maguire kicked Pogba in his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll never forgive him for that. One. <laughs> I'll never forgive <laughs> him. For I've, that. I've never seen Pogba. <laughs> 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 Maguire plays like he's a Leo. Yo, listen. Pick one. 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 Pick
Need you one second. Need you one second. Why is Mr. Bruno making his hands up? I'm going Bruno. I'm going Bruno. I'm going Bruno. Chill. Everyone chill. I just want to read the super chats. Madam chill, madam chill. Um, Neji, yeah, I'm usually you know, with you, my bro. Uh, when bro, it comes yeah. to Ten Hag out trash, however, on this Bruno versus KDB thing, nah, KDB is superior. A technician is a high level baller all round. Thank you. Big ups to Lee White and most salads an athlete can run all day, not high IQ. Uh, the FBI is waiting for you to land <laughs> in JFK, <laughs> Neji. I'm big up, man. I'm big up, my guy, Ledu, man. It says, big up, Saeed. Saeed, um, love always runs. Leon traps and Ryan are not you, Neji and Ty. You'll have to answer to God for supporting oh, the <laughs> manager. And also, big up to him, gifted five memberships as well, man. So big up to Big up, big up Nadu. Nadu. Listen, last last 10 minutes here. And listen, it has to be 10 minutes only. Quick debate <laughs> on the manager. I don't know if you see the comments about the manager. He said, um, sorry, um, what do you call it? Jim Rackley. He said, it's been good over the last couple of months. But he did say also that um, it's not at the level we want to get to as well. What are you saying, man? Do you reckon that he's going to sack the manager? Do you reckon he's going to keep I, him? You go first, what man. You, you, put you, in. you go first, man. Go first, bro. No, no. Yeah. I, listen, I, I think for me, it's one of them where Champions League football is massive. But I also look at what's happened in the past, bro. They ain't going to forget the past, you know. As much as you think, yeah, oh, it's all good and well and beating the teams we're beating right now. But they have not forgotten the past. They have not forgotten the embarrassment of the Champions League. They've not forgotten that, you know what? We don't really have a style of play. They are performance analyst people. So they're not just going to forget because of a little patch of form. So I believe really and truly, they all want to get their man. It's a fresh journey. It's a fresh start. And I think they're going to go get their man, whether it's whoever we want to. It's a different situation. But for me, they've got. To, if they want to be serious, they want to start fresh. Go and get a new manager in place in the summer. Ten Hag, get your top four, get your FA Cup, and keep it moving. That's what I would say for him to do. S simple as that. Yeah, man. Agreed. I think I agree with you, man. Because at the end of the day, we no, need to look at. No. We need to look at what's going right and what's going wrong. Do you know what I'm saying? And like, I can't, I, I would want to see Ten Hag turn it around, but I can't see what he needs to do in terms of what he's got left on the pitch. Like, I think we was talking yesterday, I think Leon, you was there. Like, the situation Ten Hag is in, in terms of the players he's got and just the type of football he wants to play, he's created this mess. And yeah. it's only up to him to fix it. So how is he going to fix this? And then on top of that, we can say, okay, he's got injuries, but... He's the one that didn't go for certain players to make sure that he doesn't have these injuries that can cause him more problems. So I don't know. I just don't see a solution. What can he do? If he starts picking the right... Because this the argument that Ty and Neji made, you can shake your head, Neji, all you want. The, no, the argument that... The, it's the whole the, he didn't go for certain players thing. I'm like, eh? I didn't no, get because I'm he's caused this mess, basically. My whole point is he's caused this mess. I might not be having my... I might not get my, re my words on point today. I'm tired, but right, fair, cool. Fair, 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 all fair, I'm saying... Yeah, all I'm saying, he's caused his mess. But my problem is, is that we say, okay, when he gets the players, we're going to see, start seeing a style. You guys say that, okay, West Ham, Aston Villa, we're starting to see more of the style. Then we play against Luton and the man says the results. It's like, mm. which one is it? Do you get what I'm saying? So I just feel like, what direction are we really going in? Why you lot have faith that he can turn us around? Even if we give him all the players, like what 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 is there to hold on to? I just like, don't what have see you it. seen from the past? Yeah, what, what have, have you seen? seen? Yeah, yeah, facts. Like, that's that's fair, all I want to know. Just... I, I respect all the man's opinions. I love all the man. It's all love at the end of the day, bro. Yeah, of course. This I just can't yeah, see it. I just can't see it, bro. I just add to I what honestly you're saying, can't bro. see it. I think for me, what Ineos are doing, the, this decision is a big one for me. If you decide to keep him on, yeah you're not really the big club moving team that you that you said you were. Not because of my narrative of I want the manager out. It's because mm -hmm. if you're looking at below mediocrity over a long period of time now, because people can say that, and look, Neji and Ty, if you're still in, I, I respect 100% what you said, Neji, about manager four years. I can't see that because I just don't think football works like that anymore. And I think mm -hmm. that we've a lot of us have established in here that we're not after a manager who's going to go on to do what Fergie did. We're after somebody who can go and set that foundation to then bring in another manager who can do that as well, because we're not even at that basic minimum levels of what this right. squad can perform at. We're not there yeah. at all. And you can't tell me, me that we to are. Me, bro, I'll be honest. Wait, yeah. One second, one second, one second. One second. Oh, yeah, finish, sorry, go on, bro. We are, because we haven't, we're on track to score less than 50 goals, and we've got a minus one goal difference, and we went out the Champions League with four goals, and 
with the oh, squad. It's plus, it's one, by the way. It's plus, plus one now, bro. Plus one, we turned the corner. Yeah. So for me, I'll just kind of end by saying with Ineos, it's a really big decision for me. From what you've seen, Ineos, from the eye test, I don't care about mm. statistical managers and rare, 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 and the first season mm. was this and da, 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 da. From what you've seen in the last year since we stopped playing well in February last year, because it's February this year, yes. and we've played less than this many games well, probably about five, six games maximum well out of 30, yeah. 40, yeah? Yeah. I'm not I'm not interested in this anymore. So they need to make the right decision and they need to bring in a manager that can do the basics and lift this squad up. And I don't mm. trust this guy with signing players. I don't trust this guy with managing players. I don't trust mm-hmm. this guy with in-game. I don't trust this guy with even the way he talks in press conferences. I don't mm-hmm. trust this guy managing any keys to anything. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I don't even trust him with the academy right now. Do you know what I mean? I'd be 100%. wrong. I, I'm, I'm, with, I'm with you. I think they get rid of him. Um, and also... It's one of them ones where Saeed in the quote it said it said yeah that we'll yeah. decide a new style of play. We'll decide he said it will be us plus the CEO, sporting director, probably the recruitment guys. What the style of football is, mm. and and that mm. will be Man United style of football, and the coach will have to play that style. That's how it should That's be. Right. That's how it should be. He, he said that the coach will have to play that style. That means the way we're playing right now ain't good enough, bro. So he hasn't shown us that he can play a brand of football yet at any point. That is reflective of best in class is because this is what we're trying to do right now. When you look at all the people we're bringing in and the way that they're talking, this manager hasn't shown yet that he has the ability and he's had 18 months. It's more than long enough because it doesn't take that long to implement a style of football. He hasn't done that. So when you look at um, when you look at what they're saying they're going to do, it would be extremely inconsistent with everything they've done so far if they kept him. And also they're going to go and they're going to speak to players. They're going to watch his press conferences because how he interacts with the press is, is comes off as how it reflects the club, bro. When you've got oh, a manager that yeah. can't deal with the press, it's a problem. That's the reason why Tottenham didn't sign him and they signed um, Ange instead because they said he's got no charisma. Do you know what I'm saying? And he's got none because these things matter because Man United is a marketing United. club. Yeah. It's a marketing club, bro. He's not marketable, bro. Do you know what I mean? He always looks pissed off. And he always just looks like he's ready to just say something out of pocket for no mm. reason, bro. Like the guy looks like he's got a bee in his bonnet all the time. And then it's like he's got a chip on his shoulder. Like he looks like he's trimming yeah. a wasp all the time. He always, he's always got a bee <laughs> in his bonnet, bro. He's always, oh, I told you, I told you. Yeah, when we get the injuries, I told you. And it's like, bruv, it's not that deep. Oh. You know, like that. You know what I'm saying? Without, without injuries, man, it should be I doing think, better. I think you have to ask yourself I mean, as well, yeah. When your manager comes out and made. the back's against the wall, yeah, and like, you thinking right? Okay, what can you pull out now? Like you, you, you came from Ajax. You want to be an elite manager. You believe you're an elite manager. You believe you've had like the mm. the the right the right career path from whatever he was doing with was it an international team and Barca and then Ajax and all that sort of thing. When your back's against the wall and you come out and moan about you don't have what you need, mm. yeah, knowing you're not going to get that until six to twelve months time or eight, nine, ten months time, yeah. Mm. To me, I don't understand how you can look and even go to the basic level with that attitude because you're just moaning about what you haven't got if i haven't got what i want within my business i'm in media and that yeah i just solve it in it like i ain't gonna say mm. there and be like oh we haven't got the right rare we just make it happen in it like and leon on top but of to that be honest, you, you though, told to... them you wanted to do, get everything yourself and then now you're complaining you yeah but to be want. fair on him no, guys I mean. to be fair on to be fair on him he's always, he has been a manager when asked about injuries he says look them players are not available so this is the team that we got and this is what we mm. got to do I just feel like being the club that we are and being Man United is that the questions come in so heavily. Yeah, he's yeah. had to start pointing out to the fact that, yes, this player is not available. This is not that. That's not my biggest issue with Eric Ten Hag. My biggest, biggest issue with Eric Ten Hag is this, is that we got you from Ajax to play a certain type of football. You oh. said that's not what you come to do. And then we've that's got new owners in. Everybody's playing for their lives and their, and their futures at Man United. You've got the players in there to change it up. Put Bruno on a bench. Try Ahmed in there. Just try different things try to show that you want to establish a different type of football, knowing that you're just fighting for your career. But the way he's going on and the players that he's picking and the football that he's playing, he's going on like he's really got time to build until next mm-hmm. season. And he's involved in a January and he's involved in a summer transfer window. And he's going to be a part of this big building. When reality is now, my brother, you're fighting for your life. Yeah, like, do something yeah. so that's do something. You're fighting, you know what I'm saying? Do think, something think, so the fans my, can say, my, my stance, I, think Ineos will, I think Ineos will probably get rid of him at summer if they have a, uh, an identity and a style of play. I think I said with Ty before, 
um, I've got no issue getting rid of a manager once the structure's in there. But no structure, or you have to build a football ide ideology or philosophy over one manager. Because if you've got no proper football structure, then you've got to get it from somewhere. I've always said that. Could but I ask you one question, AJ? Give, sorry, give, based on that point, that specific right point. That point, huh? though. Can I ask you something on that point you just made that, that about the structure yeah, and whatever? Because you know, you we've mentioned that Ten Hag is successful when he's kind of already in a system, like what he did at Ajax. It was already there and he just had to manage. Do you think that he's still good enough for him to be presented the system and then he so, can just do what they want? So, that, so yeah, to answer that question, and mm. I'll, I'll do it this way. I'll start with the negatives yeah. of Ten Hag. Regardless of uh, structure or not, there are massive flaws in Ten Hag's game. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the prediction that I made and Musa was there with me, obviously, I thought that that was going to be the thing that he felt. Do you know what I mean? Like the priorities in, in the, the transfer, I just couldn't believe it personally. And I did say we'll concede more this year, we'll create less, we won't score as much because we ain't got clinical forwards and look at the goal difference. Do you know what I mean? And that's been the whole season. Mm -hmm. So for me, he should be sacked for that. Don't get it twisted. However, there are certain things that Ten Hag has done, right, that isn't only relatable to him, in my opinion. And when I look at the bigger picture, I'm not going to hold a manager accountable if he's not the only one who's accountable. So therefore, if, if I look at what he did at Ajax with Overmars, like I said, with transfers, for example, if Overmars didn't want Anthony, and okay, probably wrong person to you because he was at Ajax, uh, Casemiro. Mm. If, uh, if Overmars didn't want Casemiro and Ten Hag wanted him, they would never get that player. Mm. The manager and the, manager and, uh, the director had to agree on I the agree. players that they brought in. Now, he's coming to Man United. He's been the only person to do that. He's got some wrong. He's got some right. Some helped him steady the ship in the first season to get to the second season to try and play the way he wanted to play, and it's backfired. Cool. Say, that's also a sackable offence because then you haven't actually adapted. him, as Leon was saying about adapting. He hasn't adapted mm -hmm. uh, with that system where you should be holding two sixes. Go back to what he did first season. No one's got mm -hmm. an issue until you get your players back. No problem. So there are certain things about him that are questionable. I'm not going to sit here and defend those things. The substitutions, certain things that, you know, they're just not right, yeah? yeah. So I'll stand, sit there and go, cool. The positives of it, though, is he has got a lot of things right. A lot of things right. Even when his back is against the wall, he's got a lot of things right. And there was a, there was, there's always the counter to it. There's also situations that doesn't fall on Ten Hag for me because of our structural situation. So when I look at everything in jest... You feel like the positives season, outweigh the negative. Yeah, in for Ten me, Hog. the positives okay. outweigh the negative and I've seen what he's done. I've seen what he's done with the structure. Now, if Ineos don't want the way he plays football, get rid of him. Because I want the structure. You always know me, I've been structure first over manager. So until the structure uh, uh, wasn't there, had to be manager first. But now the structure... So I feel like wouldn't you say help said, his football style, style though? You know what I mean? Get rid of him. But make sure you bring the right man in. But can I ask you a question, AJ? outweigh that though? The negative can I ask him a question? Not being able to play a certain way, Wait, what, wouldn't what that outweigh... Because you use two points that I think that, that contradict each other. You Go said on. that at Ajax, he played with a system and he did well. But at the same time, you're saying there's a lot of things no, that under he's a sackable under for. Under a certain structure. Yeah, under a structure, sorry. And then you said there's a lot of things that he's done that are sackable. Don't you think that that, that just shows that he even if you give him a structure, he won't be good enough anyway, regardless? Yes. Not, not, not me personally. I, I think whenever, whenever, listen, it's football's football. It's an emotional game with Man United fans, yeah? I'm mm. going to sit here and probably talk for everyone and say, we all want Man United dominating again if we can, if we could see it in our lifetime. We want to be challenging Champions League, Premier League. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for me personally, whether Ten Hag's the man or not, cool, safe. You get rid because the structure's there. As long as the structure behind him is able to be supportive of what he's trying to do, and it's again, it's a it's like a relationship. It goes hand in hand. Then you make it work. If it's a definite no because you've got one ideology, you've got the other. There's a clash. Then you have to get rid of the manager. All I'm saying is, yeah, do you know what is man? Them as well. CBs, different styles of football than Ten Hag, and the same results still happening. So I have to ask myself, Ten. if I had a structure to the, any of those managers, would we be in a better position? And I think it's not worth, it's not that bad, given the fact that he did get as a trophy top four first season. He's had the first... Give him a try to try that. Okay. Yeah, That's give what it a try. Yeah, do you know what it is, though? Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, Ten yeah, Hag's thing hurts me, yeah? Because you know what it is? I went and watched Ten Hag. I went and watched Ajax versus Madrid the other day, Champions League at the Bernabeu and how they destroyed them. I'm talking about the same Madrid team we're talking about. It weren't no dead team. Yeah, yeah, seriously. And I just think to myself, I, I, I don't know if the is an android they cloned him or what because none of it none of it adds up you know because you that Ajax team just, just quickly play, it does add up. people forget it, it does add up. what happened break it down break it down break it down 
It does add up. Break it down. Actually, there was two you know why it adds up? Team with um, was it the yeah. Reds? Um, Va- um, Van yeah, Bacon, it was the man. players. We get it. No, no, like, no, 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 it no, does no, add up. Let me just, let me just, let me just. Was it the players? Yeah, we said it was the players. No, no, no. It only depends on himself. Yeah, he never built that team. He never built that team. I can, I can quote you. I can quote you people from Ajax if you have to. He never built that. Team, I don't know what one might be doing. I'm saying to you, bro, is but he didn't build it though. I'm not saying I didn't say I wasn't even going to say he built it, so I don't know why he jumped in. I don't, oh, it's if very you different to go that, into cool. a club and coach a team that already has a style of play, already has players there, already has people recruiting. You just but do more of what's being done already. I'm not trying to say that, so I don't understand why you're assuming. Oh, the Man United job is completely different because this team needs to be built. But I'm not comparing that, bro. So I don't know why you're going on this trail of thought. No, because I'm asking a question. I'm asking a question. Oh, listen, I was answering Musa's question. I don't even know where you came into this. All right, so Musa, okay, my bad. Then that's my bad. Answer your question. No, I'm being real. Two different styles of football. Two different styles of football. You had the, oh, the one with Frankie Dion, the Lick, um, oh, Van der Beek, the lot, yeah? And then you had the style of football you played when um, we had, uh, was it Haller? When you bought Haller, yeah? Yeah. Those two teams. Yeah, Haller, Haller. Compli- those Haller. two teams completely different, managed by the same team. Now, he's, al- he's already said about the profiles that he, because, again, the profiles that he didn't inherit, uh, by Rance's words, facts, right? That he didn't inherit, they, they were so technically gifted that it allowed him to play that great ball that he did against. Um, uh, Madrid, he couldn't he couldn't continue yeah. that once those players went. So then he went down a different route. Yeah. So all I'm saying is he is able to adapt, but it depends on what the structure is and the foundation. The way Ajax have always played their ball, their systems and everything else is consistent. Yeah. Now Man United, we're, we're not Ajax. We know that we're different, different gravy. We should have been. So if he can't yeah, adapt yeah. to what Ineos are trying to say about, oh, uh, we want to play a Man United style or whatever that is, he has to go. But do we, the question yeah. is, and I'm assuming the answer is no. But correct me if I'm wrong. You man don't want to give him that opportunity to see if he can, and that's cool if you don't. Uh, that's what I'm gonna ask you. AG, I'm gonna move on. I was yeah, gonna go ask on, you quickly. Go on. What gives you the confidence that if we give him the keys and everything, that he will succeed? Four years, he said. Four years. Yeah, based on what those side. No, I'm saying I'm asking you what gives you the confidence if he has everything there based on what you've seen that he will succeed. And obviously, that's your intent. I mean, again, the evidence, the evidence is there for me. I've seen him under a confidence structure. I've seen him play two different styles of football. It's again an average club at that time. And at the same time, he's done very well in his first season. This is his first proper blip. It's been a load of bullshit. A lot of it's been on his head. Like I said, 40% on the scale. A lot of it's been for other other reasons. You man are kicking out your team just yeah. because it's the first. Bit of negativity that you can't handle. No, I, I, that's I, just I, me, I, man. I, I, I can I stand in the fire. Something. You man don't have no, to. But you, don't, cool. you can't speak for us. That's not true. You can't just. Hey, no, hey, I'm, that's hey, my hey, observation. Hey, that's let, let, me, let me ask the man him a question. This is the please. first time he's been shit. And then you man are like throwing your toys out like it's No, no, he's been shit since I've been here, but I allowed him in last year. Hey, man, last year. Last year. Hey, man, you see, we're talking about structure, yeah? Yeah, go Do you man think, yeah, that without the new owners and no structure, if we got the Zerbi, yeah, and we told him that he could sign his own players for 400 million, we'd be playing the same football we'd, we're playing now? And do you think we would have signed the same kind of players that we signed? Yes or no? We'll be better. We'll be way better. No, no, no. Well then, hey, well then, so we can't, so we can't blame the style of play Lack of style of football exactly. on a lack of structure. The structure. We can't do that yep. because why, even Van Gaal no, had the can't. same dead structure. Van Gaal had a style of play. I didn't. I didn't agree with you. The reason why we didn't have no style of play is because the manager doesn't have one. The manager doesn't have one. The manager doesn't have one. Can I just? Can he not have one? That makes no sense, bro. We let him sign the players he wanted and then he benched them all. What are we talking about? No, half of them are injured, bro. What are you on about? Can I, listen, can I just and say any something? injured? Half of them are injured. Yeah, Amrabat injured. What do you mean? I'm oh, so one, one, so one player, but Casemiro ain't been injured. Anthony, been injured. bro. Can, what can is can I, can I my last year? My last year ain't been injured. Like, <laughs> what are we doing here? Can, can I talk? There is a balance, you know. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Traps go. I haven't had traps. Traps. I'm gonna end the show. Traps is gonna end the show. Go on, traps. The other day, right? I said, yeah, that if you went into a shop, yeah. And you and the food was shit, yeah. You wouldn't want to go back to that shop. That was half of my. I was interrupted, yeah. And what my point didn't get made across. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say my point to you now, yeah. If you go into a shop and you think the food is shit, you are not going to buy that food. So, but if you go into that shop and think this food, this shop is shit, 
But however, it's got potential. So I'm gonna buy this shop. I'm gonna I'm gonna manage the shop, yeah, and make the shop think better. Then yeah, um, I believe in myself that I can I can uplift the shop. I can make the shop what it's meant to be. So if you come into a shop and the shop is still fucking failing, yeah. You are a failure because there was no talk of no no Ineos that coming. There was no Ineos coming. To help you. you took that. You, you took this over like shot only shot. by yourself, thinking that you could change this shit, and you failed. You failed because you're not. Failing. That's what it is. So when you went, I don't understand. I don't the customers understand. have got a bellyache, bro. So, man, bro a bellyache. What we what we brought you in for? You failed. Yeah. There you, you go. Did. That's I, it. I, that's and it, then what, bro? Man, they're gonna bail you out. Listen, nah. man went into That's the yard it. shop. Yo, man tasted listen, the, the jerk chicken. It was shit. He said, "I can make better jerk chicken." <laughs> right, listen, when did he go to the yard shop? He made the jerk chicken. When did he go to the yard shop? Still shit. Yeah, and I went yard shop. It was proper. No, no. I went yard shop. He didn't want that help. Listen, listen. He didn't want that help. Do you know why this is funny? Because we've got raw chicken at United. <laughs> yeah, we've got Ron. I'm gonna end the show. I'm gonna end the super chat for end of show, man. Big up Ned says question before it's over. What manager y'all want? I want Ma Matthias Hassel or Deserby, maybe Alonso. I mean, listen, I want I want Simeone from Inter Milan or Hansi Flick. I want Gary O'Neill. So Gary O'Neill, listen, you do a better job. <laughs> <laughs> And the Luton manager, what's his name? Yeah, Edward. my man would. My man. Yo, he bring yeah, Oli back. Yeah, bring Oli back. We got structure. Bring Oli back. Bring Oli back. We got structure. Bring Oli back. Now, where's Oli going apparently? Is it Barcelona or PSG or so? Where is he meant to be going next? That would be hilarious, though, man. He's staying at home. He's staying at home. Big up Nick Man says, big up lads. Yeah. Big up lads. KDB over Bruno all day. Big up to Ned who says, reason why I picked those managers, set up 4 3 3 or 5 3 2, gag and press, but keeps possession at all, play with creative and ball retention. Based number eight means no Bruno. There you mm -hmm. go. Facts. Big up to uh, Ledu on the, on, the, on the knowledge there. Halle Penny says, the character assassination towards Ten Hag is disgusting. I hope Ineos will be more logical than, and rational. Okay, yeah, that's what so. we're fans, isn't it? We, yeah, we we're hope. We're fans, so. bro. We're fans. <laughs> Ten no, well, we hope they're going to be logical. Time, mad <laughs> pressure to this manager. Yeah. Something. You know, if they're logical, he stands yeah. no chance. So. Exactly. Well, there you go. Exactly. exactly. I'm just going to apply big up to him says, in the summer. Ten, ten <laughs> will be given more time. I big up Nedu. Another five gifted memberships. Big up to you, bro. Yeah, Alfredo, up, says, if it needs to be built, then why not give it time? And knowledge, he says, yeah, he built. He held up signing his contract for weeks because he wanted full control. Knew who, how our structure was before he signed. Yeah, he had the opportunities point. to ask for structure, but he wanted full control. Boo who? Oh, listen, still over 2,000 people here. We had about 2.3 at one point. Listen, large up to everyone supporting the Mandem talk, man. You know what I'm saying to you? Like, for real, large. man. Every one of you, mm. you get me supporting the Mandem talk. Like, large up, you get me. Like, it's been an epic show. You get me. And yeah, man, everyone who's super chatting, everyone who's commented, like the stream, people, man. Epic, epic show, oh, man. Can I just say something right, before listen, we close Mandem, out? If, if man, yeah, if man gets sacked and he opens a yard shop, yeah, man, boycott that, yeah, please. <laughs> yeah, boycott, <laughs> boycott. <laughs> boycott. <Aye. laughs> I <laughs> yo, trust me, man. But now, nah, big up, big up, man. Big up to Tyrone, man. Let them know where they can find you, man. Big up to you, man. Yeah, big up everyone in the comments today. They've been popping off today. Obviously, the panel is always it's good to see, you know. Get me this great formation there, three, three, two. You get me. So now, big up all the man them inside. Um, Traffic like Tunnel, man, United about content. Three, three, <laughs> what <are you> doing? <laughs> that's like Tom Bowley about 3 3 2. <laughs> yeah. Formation we play when Bruno, Rashford, and Garnacho were playing. Though. Yeah, real. Chafford Tunnel, Chafford Tunnel for Man United content, never a foul. <laughs> Generic content, but yeah, this show is this show is major, man. I can't lie, my phone's been buzzing. People are saying it's one of the best shows on YouTube in general. So yeah, big up everyone, man. Ah, oh, no, appreciate yeah, it, man. No, big yeah, up, man, big up, up, man. All right, big up, man. Make sure you follow up uh, Traffic Tunnel Never a Foul. A big up Rance, man. Yeah, you know I mean, we did a show before as well. People check out the show on Rance and Bance's channel. But big up, bro. What are you telling me? Come on, big up you lot, man. You already know. Lit stream, big up the chat as always. Make sure you smash that like button as well. Get them likes up. I don't know where we are, but that needs to be over a thousand still. So pattern up. Mm. For real, for real. Yeah, man. Big up to you, man. Big up to you. Uh, traps, man. Love, man. Come on. You already know. Yeah, big up, man. Big up everyone, man. You know how it is, man. I'm here every week. Enjoying, enjoying the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. Big up. 
Oh, my man. Big up, man. Rhino, big up to you, man. Yeah, man. Big up, man. Love to the man them as always. Love to the people in the chat. Make sure, like Rant said, like we all keep saying, just like the video, man. It don't cost you nothing. Mm. Just like the video, man. We all appreciate it, especially Saeed. He's putting in the work. But yeah, an interesting conversation. You know, the man them is always love. We always respect each other. You feel me? So, oh, man. listen, we wait mm. to Fulham. We wait to Fulham and then we'll be here again. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see what's good. Yeah, mm. well, larger yeah if, we lose, if we lose to Fulham, if we lose to Fulham, traps will be out the van, man. So you get me. <laughs> <laughs> man lock in. Oh yeah, shows Rhino is doing that sick. You know, trust me. Yeah, Sunday shows 9 p.m. Rhino MGT. Make sure you subscribe as well. Yeah, we do a lot of different conversations there. So lock in as well. Yeah, oh, man, but, yeah come big on. Up. love for that, Leon. Yeah, big up, big up, man. I right, live big up. They do again, man. Another five gifted membership. Big up to you as always, bro. Love, man. Big, big, uh, big, Sunshine AG, man. You came today. I thought you're gonna leave Tyrone on his own, man. So listen, last week, <laughs> listen, apologies. listen. Last week, Tyrone, I was in France in it, man. So you know I, mean? I was traveling at the time. I held it down, man. It's so, right, it's right. Yeah, I know I, you held yeah. it down, though, bro. Last week, I know you held it down. I'm sorry, mm. back. So. No, he got yeah, rushed, bro. You know he got rushed. You got rushed. You got rushed. You got rushed. Hey, 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 man's got caught with Bruno for kidnap. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, uh, oh. like I said, got, uh, I'm flying out to Portugal soon. Um, so I hit the Instagram up, man. Hey, Bruno. Bruno. We see you Yeah, man. Right in Portugal, man. Do you know what I mean? You already know. Uh, got, I mean, no, got, I think up. on the 7th as well, man, for a whole week, man. So I'm flying out, yeah. man, getting out of places. God's good, all that great stuff, man. Um, like I said, anything for me, oh, greatest heavyweight baller, you already know. Sunshine 47, Instagram, Twitter, everything else, man. That's it. But make sure you go support Saeed and obviously all the man then, man. Do you know what I mean? We all give our time and everyone's real, got their real, honest, man. valued opinions, man. So make sure you support that, man, and keep supporting the show. Right. We appreciate all the, all the love as well that comes through the inboxes. And obviously, I know Ty just mentioned it as well, about people mm. bigging up the show, man. We want to go, I'm sure... Mm -hmm. uh, I think trying to go, we're trying to get around a round table at some point, man. So your likes, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Hold yeah. on, yeah. mean, get attention yeah. to the, the show, man. If you appreciate it, so all love, man. Shout, come on, come on. You already know, man. Big up to you. I uh, big up to um, Leon as well, man. Love, man. Coming on, man. Yeah, man. I'm looking forward to cooking Neji around that round table, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll start crying table. and that. We'll yeah, no, but no, nah, nah, no. Um, large up. Obviously, I just want to give a shout out to my boxing platform, Black Box Global. Dean White made his first world champion on the weekend, so we're making some moves down in London. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I gave man quite late notice on this one. So when we do our June eighth uh, card, I want every man there have a sure, good night, mate. get you some jerk chicken, oh, mac cheese. Hard hitters was oh, there man. as well. So Dean, if you ever want, if Dean's oh, watching, dude. I might send this to him. Yeah. He's crying because Isaac Chamberlain and Denzel beat him on the punch machine in it. So he's been a bit upset since the show. But it is one of his uh, it's, it's, it's technique, it's uh, not size, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So obviously pause in it. But yeah, um oh, what was that? What was I gonna say? Um Archer <laughs> Mandem, yeah. Leon's reality, yeah. Oh my man, big up man. Musa love, man. Let them know the charity work, man. Yeah, we're there, man. We're just still grinding, you know it is, man. Same old resource, CIC, underground. Besides that, I'm here every Wednesday on, on Rance's channel on the Thursday. And we're here, man, just seeing where Man United take us, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, United is a bit of sweet love with this club, man. We want to get in Champions League, but we don't want to get cooked. But like we've been saying consistently, uh, one of the things we said on Rant Show is that uh, one good summer can change a lot, you know. We saw it at Newcastle. Newcastle nah. were just Facts. bottom of the league, bro. They had mm -hmm. that one little steady summer, the right manager, and they started moving up. So I feel like there's a lot that can be done. And I feel like this Eric Ten Hag thing, even though we have banter, and even with the players like Bruno, but I feel like one or two changes within that team and some consistency with the right manager, you see things differently. For me, mm -hmm. not to not to dwell onto this too much, but when we talk about number tens and the type of players I've seen growing up, it's never been this type of number ten that we got, man. It's never been mm -hmm. this type of man. The type of charisma, the type of you know technique and just vision that a number ten has. As much as we've been going back and forth, it's never been this type of player, man. We've grown up with some real bad boys, bro. Pa Pablo yeah. Ayama and them type of man and, and Raquel May and like Raquel, different man. type of ballers, you know what I'm saying? Man that move different. And I just feel like there's, even for like our Ahmed, I think a lot of people say, nah, not really. But I just think like he's similar to like a Kudus, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, give it mm -hmm. that chance, man. Let's... Yeah, yeah, all day because because uh, because he said he he play, he he prefers that when he's okay. asked in an interview what position you play. 
Armand well, said that he's a 10. Hog, though, I don't think it'll work, you know, because mm. obviously 10 Hogs, I know we're going to end the show, but he's no, you know 10 Hogs yeah. systems are all like energy merchants. He, he won't do all that, will he? No, but that's, I don't know if they think that he hasn't got the energy, but that's another story. But I think the young boy's got yeah, it, man. and I think he'll surprise people. So that's where mm, I'm at, yeah. big man. Fair play, big bro. up, man. Big up, man. Big up. Large up everyone here, man. Big up to everyone um, tuning in as well. Make sure you tune in. Love to man them. Support the man them shadows as well. And yeah, next Wednesday, we're back, man. Man them talk. We're out. <laughs>